Look, man, don't ever do that again. You scared the crap out of me. Jeez, I didn't realize that little tap would scare you so much. Sorry, it's, it's not really your fault. Today's my first day as a taxi driver. I've been driving a funeral van for the last 25 years. I'm gonna get this Rubik's Cube. What are you buying? I think I'm gonna get this comb. But you have no hair. What's the use in buying a comb? Exactly. Then why are you buying a Rubik's Cube if you have no brain? <gasps> Mom, did you move my stuff again? No? Why? Is something missing? I can't find my VR headset. It's on your nightstand beside your stuffed animal. It's not here. There's nothing there, Mom. Are you sure? Did you even look properly? I'm not blind, Mom. I checked everywhere around it. I swear, if I come up there and I find it exactly where I said it is... Yeah, if you find it. But, but, it, it was... <sighs> Finally, I got my license. Now I can leave the house whenever I want. Go see whoever, whenever. <laughs> I'm gonna be a whole new person. Congratulations on getting your license, honey. Can you drive me to my hair appointment? Yeah. Let's go. Hey Luke, do you mind driving me to my bingo game? Yeah, let's go. Hey son, I'd like you to drop me off at Mark's for the football game. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Maybe this isn't so great after all. What brings you in today, sir? Ever since I was a little kid, I'm always scared at night that there's something underneath my bed, like a monster or something, and I, I just don't know what to do. Hmm, very interesting. Well, if you put yourself in my hands for one year and visit me three times a week, we should be able to get rid of these fears. That would be awesome. How much do you charge? I charge $80 a visit. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll sleep on it, if I can, and if I still need it, I'll come back to you. Okay, sounds good. Six months later. Oh, hey Luke. How's it going? Good. Why didn't you come to see me about those fears that you were having? Well, $80 three times a week for a year is a lot of money. A bartender cared me for $10 and I was so happy that I saved that much money, I decided to buy myself a new car. Is that so? And if you don't mind me asking, how did a bartender cure you? He told me to just cut the legs off my bed. Ain't nobody under there now. <gasps> hey, you looking for a problem? What? I said, are you looking for a problem? No, 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 no. I, I'm just, I'm just walking. Cause you look like you're looking for a problem. Dude, I'm just minding my own business and walking home. I'm not looking for a problem. Well, that's too bad. Cause I'm going to give you a problem. No, 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 please, please. What's the square root of 267? Huh? I'm giving you a problem. Oh. Our principal's an idiot. Excuse me. Do you know who I am? No. I'm his daughter. Well, do you know who I am? No? Good. <gasps> Listen closely, honey. You know how much I love my money. I have just over a million dollars left in my account, and when I pass away, I want to bring my money with me. So can you please promise me that you'll put it in the casket with me? Okay, dear. I promise. I'm being serious, honey. Please, don't, don't lie to me. Come on. You know me. I never lie. All right, folks. That's it for today's ceremony. I'm gonna go ahead and close the casket now. Whoa, 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 wait, wait! Yes, ma'am? I have something I need to put in the casket. Okay, well, come on up, and then I'll close it. I hope you weren't crazy enough to put all his money in there. Yes, I promised him, and I never lie. I promised that I would put every single last dollar he had in the casket with him. So you're telling me you put every single cent that he had into that box? I sure did. I transferred all his money to my bank account, then I wrote him a check. You need to stop doing that. It's getting really annoying and I can't take it anymore. Stop doing what? You always tell me to stop doing things, but you never tell me what I'm doing wrong. Just stop talking. You know what? Just, I need some time to myself. Just please stop talking to me. Just give me a couple days to myself. Fine. Oh shoot, I have a business flight tomorrow morning and I gotta get my girlfriend to wake me up at 5 a.m. so I don't miss it. But she doesn't want me to talk to her. I've got an idea. There we go. Now let me just go put it beside her purse so she doesn't miss it. Uh, what time is it? 
9 a.m.? That means I missed my flight. Why didn't she wake me up? I gotta go ask her. Wait a second. What is this? Luke, someone changed the Wi-Fi password. Do you know what it is now? Oh, yeah. Well, then what is it? Mom told me you have to give me $100 first. <sighs> really? Yeah. Fine, then. Hey, Luke, Dad told us you know what the Wi-Fi password is. Yeah, tell us what it is. Mom told me you have to give me $100 first. What? No! Yeah, heck no. I guess no Wi-Fi for you. Fine, let's just do it. Wow, thank you guys so much. Stop messing around. We just gave you the money. Now tell us what it is. Yeah, just please tell us. Mom told me you have to give me $100 first, all caps. <laughs> Mom, can I get a TV? No. Can I get a laptop? No. Can I get an Xbox? No. What about a PlayStation? No. How about a pizza for dinner tonight? What? Do you think I'm made of money or something? Well, what do you think mom stands for? Just stop talk- Luke! Get out of bed! You're gonna miss the bus! Oh, mom, I don't think I can go to school today. I feel really sick. Well then, you continue resting and I'll, I'll let the school know you won't be there today. Luke, it's really late and you haven't had lunch yet. You should go make yourself something. Oh, but mom, my stomach still really hurts a lot. I should probably just stay on the couch. Oh, I thought you were feeling better. Well, you, you stay there and I'll, I'll make you some soup and I'll, I'll let you know when it's ready. Luke, if you're done with your soup, can you wash it and then put it away, please? But mom, I have like a really bad headache right now. I think I need to go lay down. Oh, you don't worry about it then. You go lay down and I'll take care of it. Mom, are you ready to go? Ready to go where? The theme park. Remember, yesterday you got us tickets because tonight's the last night that it's open. Oh, I canceled our tickets because you're sick. Dad, do you want to make a bet for a thousand dollars? Sure. What's the bet? I bet I can make the people watching this video think there's a hair on the screen. Ha! We got you. Now send this to a friend to trick them too. Do you love me? Oh, son, you're priceless to me. I could never put it to words. Really? So you wouldn't give me up for a hundred dollars? What kind of silly question is that? Of course not. What if it was a thousand dollars? No, son, never. What about for one million? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss you, son. <laughs> Peace out, Luke. Um, bye, Mr. Henderson. Have a good weekend, Luke. You too, sir. YOLO! What? 
you know, YOLO. You only live once. That's what the kids are saying these days, right? Right. Luke, you're late again. Sorry, Mr. Anderson. If it happens again, I'll send you to the office. No cap. No, I, I believe you. I meant take off your hat. Hey, Dad. How's it going? I hate to ruin your day, but your mother and I are getting a divorce. Dad, what are you talking about? We're sick of seeing each other, we're sick of talking to each other, and I'm sick of talking about this. So you call your sister and tell her this, okay? Hey, Dad just told me to tell you that him and Mom are getting a divorce. What? That's not happening on my watch. Let me take care of this. You and Mom are not getting a divorce. Don't do a single thing until I get there. I'm gonna call my brother back and we'll both be there tomorrow, okay? But until then, don't do a single thing. You hear me? Okay, they're coming for Thanksgiving, but what do we tell them for Christmas? Wake up, filthy. Oh, are you taking out the trash? No, I'm taking it out for a date. Excuse me, boys. Is this the line to get into the concert? No! We're all just standing in a line to kill some time. Oh, did you hear what happened with Marissa and Chad? Yeah, of course. I had dinner with them last night. With Marissa and Chad? No, with Jeff and Jimmy. Ah! You're scared, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm ah! <laughs> Chill out, it's just a movie. <sighs> Based on true events, so scary, am I right? Jenna Ortega, again? Do you remember me from last week on Omegle? You know, it's fine. I didn't expect you to. Anyways, I do have one question for you if you don't mind. So let's say in a couple years from now, I decide I want to try and become an actor. Do you have any tips on like how to remember your lines? How do you remember your lines? I have a photographic memory. So all I really have to do is read over the lines once or twice, sometimes out loud if I really need it. And then I'm pretty much good. Really? Something that helps though, if you're having trouble with a line, if somebody's asking you a question, it's not going to be difficult because if you listen to what they're asking you, you remember, oh, this is the answer. Hmm. You know? Yeah, okay, thank you. I do have one more question. It's kind of weird, but do you know what my dad's name is? James. What? How did you know? I love you. I love you so much. It's it, crazy. It talking to me. No, no, where did she go? My stupid internet. Mom, why did you never tell me that I was adopted? What are you talking about? You're not adopted. Well, today in class, we did a DNA test, and I matched with some random people that I've never even met before. What? No, that's not right. Honey, you tell him. Tell him what? He's not our biological son. What? What do you mean? Remember our first few nights in the hospital when our baby wouldn't stop crying? Yeah, and I told you to change him. Yeah, and I did. Listen. <gasps> Jenna Ortega? Hello. What are you doing on Omegle? I'm bored and I don't have much to do, but I also just drank an intense amount of water and I'm, I know I'm gonna have to pee. I don't know if that's too much information, but. Okay. That's why I was like, okay, well now might be a good time before I have to do that. Okay, yeah, makes sense, yeah. I just have one quick question for you. What's your favorite movie that you've made? What's the favorite movie? What's my favorite movie that I made? Yeah. <sighs> that's hard. <laughs> How come? I never, I, I don't watch my stuff, so I'm, that's the only thing I could, Base it off of maybe um, experience shooting or... Yeah, no, I understand. It's fine. I um, I create like TikToks and YouTube videos and it's fine when I'm the only one watching them. But if my parent or like a friend is watching it and I'm, a, I'm in the same room as them, I tell them to like shut it off or I'm leaving the room. I just, I can't do it. This is so awkward. Um, I'm going to go. Okay, bye. It was nice to meet you. I think she likes me. Is everything okay? I had a really scary dream, and now my stomach hurts. What was it about? It was about me eating a really large marshmallow. A large marshmallow? <gasps> Luke, where's your pillow?
take that away from you then. Honey, do we have any dessert? Actually, I just picked up some brownies today. I'll bring them over. I thought you said you were full. I was. <laughs> Are you okay, Luke? I think I broke my leg. Hold on, I'll call the nurse. Hello? Hey, we need you in the gym ASAP. A student just broke his leg. Just a broken leg? Okay, I'll be right there. Here, put some ice on it. Luke, what does IDK and IDC mean? I don't know, and I don't care. Excuse me? Also, Mom, what's for dinner? I don't know, and I don't care. How can I help you guys today? Hi, my wife and I are looking for a vehicle that'll fit us and our three kids. Hmm, I think I have the perfect one in mind. Follow me. All right. So this truck right here will fit a whole family without any problems. Oh, what's wrong? Well, it won't work for us then. Why not? Because our family has lots of problems. Honey, I'm home from work. <gasps> it's my dad. Oh, how's my little boy doing? What's he doing with his hands on his face? I've never seen him do that one before. <gasps> what the heck? Did, did he just disappear? Big a boo! <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <gasps> Mommy! What, honey? I had a bad dream. Can you lay with me? Fine. What now? I'm still so scared. Can you lay with me again, please? <sighs> Mom, I didn't fall asleep yet. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. You only have until 2050 to live. Oh. That's like 30 years. That's enough time to travel the world, get married, and have a family. What should we film for our family channel? Uh, how about the Say Yes for 24 Hours Challenge? And what exactly is that? Basically, for the whole video, you can't say no. You have to say yes to everything I ask you. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family and in today's video we're doing the Say Yes Challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can we go buy a Lamborghini? Uh, oh, just one second. I'll be right back. Oh mom, where are you going? You can't say no. I know I can't say no, but you never told me anything about writing it. <gasps> mom, I'm gonna go to Jerry's house for a bit. Can you pick up milk? Yeah, that's easy. Oh, no, I meant from the store. Oh. Well, I would imagine it weighs the same weight there, too. Can you quickly get me a bookmark? <laughs> What's wrong? After all these years, you can't remember my name? What are you talking about? I just asked for a bookmark. My name's not Mark. It's Sam. <gasps> Mom, have you seen my phone? I can't find it. Mm, no. Where did you use it last? I'm like 99% sure it was when I was laying in bed, but I already looked in my bedroom. Did you leave it in the bathroom? Uh, let me go check. Nope, not there. What about in your car? <sighs> I 
I couldn't find it there either. Hmm, you said you were on it in your bed. Did you check underneath it? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Ah, oh, I can't see. All right, are you ready to leave? Yep. Oh, actually, wait, I should get my sunglasses. It's supposed to be really sunny out today. I'll be right back. Okay, make it quick. Question. Did you ask a classmate? No. What did I tell you guys at the start of class? If you have a question, ask a classmate first before me. Hey bro, how's it going? I just have a quick- Hey! No talking! Do you wanna play tag? Sure. You're it first. Okay. Tag! Now you're it. Hey, that's not fair. You need to give me a couple of seconds to get away from me first. <sighs> Fine. Okay, come and get me! Gotcha! No, you didn't! Yes, I did! I didn't see anything! Fine then! <coughs> What's going on up here? Luke slapped me! Go to your room! You're grounded for a month! Luke, I'd like you to come do the dishes, please. Why can't you just do them? Hey! Watch it! Okay. Oh, well, how many wise? <gasps> Mom, after you're done shopping, can we get McDonald's on the way home? No, we have plenty of food at home. Hey, can you ask Mom if we can get McDonald's on the way home? Okay. Ah, oh, what a mess. Come on, what's taking her so long? That's it. I give up. Perfect. Oh, hey Luke. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Hey, I uh, have a package for Luke. Oh, yeah, that's me. Now before we move on, does anyone have any questions about anything we just went over? Yeah, I do. Can you just go over that final step one more time, please? Oh my gosh, were you not just listening? That's literally the last thing I went over. How do you have a question about that and nothing else? Oh, don't mind me. Just pretend like I'm not here. I just want to listen in for a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, as, as I was saying, yeah, I could definitely go over that one more time for you. So... Ah, this is so annoying. What's with all the yelling in here? I'm trying to find a song that's been stuck in my head all day, and I searched up literally everything, but I can't find it. How does the song go? It goes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. You have? Do you know the name or who, who sings it? 
Unfortunately, I don't. What'd you search up? Here's what I searched. Uh, all right, sir. I uh, I got your X-ray back. Uh oh. The way you're speaking about it doesn't sound very good. It's exactly what I'm afraid of. Really? What is it? Skeletons. Okay, class. Now I want you guys to discuss your answer with the person beside you. So, uh, wh what'd you get? Do you even know how to do this question? No. Me neither. What should we film for our family channel? Um, how about the Say Yes for 24 Hours Challenge? And what exactly is that? Basically, you just have to say yes to every single question I ask you in the next 24 hours. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family, and in today's video, we're doing the Say Yes Challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can you buy me a Lamborghini? Um... You can't say no. I, I, I guess not. Um... Yeah, let's go! I'm afraid you only have two weeks to live. What? No, that can't be true! Everyone get on the ground! This is a robbery! Now give me all your money! Okay, okay! Here! Just please don't hurt me! Don't move! You're under arrest for armed robbery! I hereby sentence you to 20 years in prison. Yes! Mom, do you think you could buy me a better folder to put my schoolwork in? This one's kind of falling apart. Well, it looks perfectly fine to me, but I'll go take a look to see if I have any old ones I could give to you. Mom, the teacher said today that we need to get something to um, write down notes in class. Hmm, I'm assuming she means like a notebook for you to write stuff down in. Well, you know what? Let's go get a MacBook. <laughs> Mom, is it okay if two friends come over tonight since it's my birthday? No, I'm about to go to bed and I gotta wake up early, so I don't want a loud house tonight. Hey, Mom, I have a couple thousand people coming over tonight. Can you go get some games for us to play? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Of course, I'll also buy you guys some snacks while I'm at it. Mom, I'm doing my homework and I just have one quick question for you if you don't mind. Can you come over for a couple seconds? No, I'm gonna be busy the rest of the night. I'm sure the answer's in your textbook, just look harder. Mom, I just opened up my homework and it looks too hard. Here, how about this? If you give me your pencil, I'll let you go play some video games while I do your homework. You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone! <laughs> Alright, first question. Are you the killer? No. Are you sure? Yes. Killer say what? What? Ha! We got him! Guilty! If you put your clean laundry on your bed, you'll be motivated to fold it and put it away.
quick, act natural so they don't think you're stealing. But I'm not stealing. I know, but they're gonna think you are because you're not buying anything. Mom, are you ready to go? I don't want to be late for my first day of school. We can leave in two seconds. I just want to quickly take a picture of you, okay? <sighs> Fine. You know what? Can you sit on the chair? Now give me a big smile. That one doesn't look very good. Let me take another. Hi, can I get one ticket for the movie, please? Yeah, of course. Which one? Oh, the movie. Okay, are you being dumb on purpose? No. Then which movie do you want to watch? The movie, the one right there. I asked you which one you wanted to see. This one or this one? The movie too. Are you being dumb on purpose? I don't understand how people can do TikTok for a living. I know, right? Like it literally takes 15 seconds to record a video. Well, actually, it could take some people multiple hours because they need to make a script, then film it, and then edit it on a computer. <laughs> yes! I got you! Ditch! <laughs> Ditch! <laughs> Come here! I'm gonna get you, you little... Puck! <laughs> Did I hear what I think I heard? What about the first word? What other word? Oh, ditch with a D. Ditch. Don't worry, Dad. I would never swear. Phew. I thought I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> Mom, can you help me with my homework? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm going out for girls' night. I'm sure your father will help you. Yes, yeah, son. What do you need help with? Okay, good luck, you two. I'll see you later. So this question is, 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 uh... Is what? I don't have all night here. It, it's asking how to solve this. <sighs> That's easy. Give me the pencil. You just gotta carry the A plus by the B square, do some takeaways, and there's your answer. But that's not how the teacher wants us to do it. What do you mean it's not the answer? It's math. Math is math. That's the answer. Yeah, but you won't get the marks because he didn't show you a word. You know what? Forget it. This new math makes no sense. You're gonna have to wait till your mother gets home. <laughs> hey, Mom. Can you help me with my homework, please? I can't right now. I'm doing the dishes. Just pause it. <laughs> Can we go watch a movie? No, I'm busy right now. Get out of my room. Ah! <laughs> Hello? You're grounded for a month. That means no more electronics. What? Why? Your brother told me what happened to the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with it. Then send me a picture of the wall beside your TV right now. Okay. Let me quickly download this photo editing app by pressing the button on my profile. Then I'm going to use the eraser tool to get rid of the damage on the wall. There we go. Now let's send that to mom. And one more thing. Connor Fiddle Sticks Repairs. How can I help you? Hi, I just need a small area on my wall repaired. Tuna. <laughs> oh no! Mom, can I go play my video games? Only if you answer my next question correctly. What? Fine. Why did you hit yourself? Because I wanted to. And now I'm gonna go play my video games. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. Dad, what word 
starts with an E and ends with an E. Ends with an E too? Ooh. Emote. And finally, what word starts with an E, ends with an E, and has one letter? Huh? Only has one letter? E? Nope, an envelope. Dad, I bet you a hundred dollars that I could put this egg inside this bottle of water. Without cracking it? Yeah, without cracking it. Okay, deal. Okay, here I go. It's in. <laughs> I don't believe you. Then take a look. Luke, get over here right now. What do you want, Dad? What is this? That's my report card. And why is it on the ceiling? Because you told me I needed to bring my grades up. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. Doctor, am I going to be okay? Yes, as long as you take these pills. Thank you so much. Wait, yeah? How often should I take them? Oh, right. Take one a day. Okay, and for how long? For the rest of your life. Okay, I can do that. Wait, there's only three left. Exactly. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. Doctor, am I going to be okay? Yes, as long as you take these pills. Thank you so much. Wait, yeah? How often should I take them? Oh, right. Take one a day. Okay, and for how long? For the rest of your life. Okay, I can do that. Wait, there's only three left. Exactly. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. Look at this picture that I took while I was on vacation. Wow. You were in Egypt? No, I was in Paris. All right, Luke, 225. You got this. Actually, wait, is there a bathroom in here? No! There's a litter box in the corner. Come on! Yes! I'm in the lead! Oh! Are you winning? Mm. Luke, it's time to come inside for dinner. Can I come eat later? I'm playing soccer with Jimmy. No, the food's almost ready, so come in before it gets cold. Please, Mom! Get in here right now. <laughs> we'll see you later, Jimmy. Luke, it's so nice out today. Why don't you go play outside for a bit? No, I'm busy grinding this new Fortnite season. Okay, but I want you to get some sunlight today, so how about in one hour you shut it down and go outside? No, I don't want to go outside. There's nothing to do out there. Well, if you don't shut it down and get outside in one hour, I'm grounding you for a week. <sighs> for this job interview, let's just start off with some basic questions. What's 2 plus 2? Um, 4. What's the square root of 100? 10. Good. Now, um, who killed Abraham Lincoln? Um, I don't know. Okay, um, you know what? You can go home and think about it and come back tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Hey, Mom. Hi, Luke. How was your day? It was good. I had that job interview. Oh, that's right! Did you get the job? <laughs> Not only did I get the job, I'm already working on a murder case. <gasps> Congratulations! Doctor, I can't sleep at night. I keep seeing donkeys playing soccer. All right, well, I'm going to give you some medicine then, and I want you to start taking it tonight, okay? Can I start tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Because tonight's the finals. <gasps> oh, their class got their test back today? Oh, he's coming in right now. I'll ask him. Hey, Luke, I heard you guys got your test back. Can I see it? Oh, this? Um, no, this isn't, this, no, this isn't my test. Um, it's in, in my backpack, but I, I really have to go to the bathroom. I'll, I'll show it to you in a couple seconds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you go, you go. Let me see here. Oh, 84 out of 100. Good job. Why don't we go out for dinner tonight to celebrate? Yes!
Tell me why you think you should be released early. I think I have... Yes? It's because I... Go on! Can I please finish my sentence? Sure! <gasps> Come back here! Here's your exam back, Luke. Wait, I got a 49%? Mm-hmm. But that means I failed. Yes, it does. Wait, 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 I can't fail. I need this class to graduate. How about this? The day you can walk on water is the day I'll give you 100%. Mr. Lou? What now? <gasps> okay, it's time for your test. Do you know what this means? I don't know. Do you know what this is? Afraid not. What's wrong with this? No clue. Tell me what's missing here. Why? Because this is a test. Now answer the question. The more it dries. What gets wetter the more it dries? Nothing. A towel. Oh. I bet you can't get this one either. What word is spelled incorrectly in the dictionary? In the dictionary? None. It's a dictionary. Dad, the word incorrectly is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> what rhymes with orange? No, it doesn't. What do you mean? Does nothing rhyme with orange? No! That doesn't rhyme either. Well, I know that doesn't rhyme with orange, but I'm asking what rhymes with orange? No, it doesn't. I know it doesn't, but what does? No, what doesn't? <sighs> ah, I'm so bored. You know what? Maybe Eric wants to hang out. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Oh. Hey man, yeah, it's, it's been so long. I hope you're doing well. I'm just uh, driving home from work right now. That's why I'm recording this through CarPlay. But yeah, let's let's hang out. Ah! Come on, man. Let me send him a voice message. It's okay, man. <laughs> you don't need to fake a car crash just because you don't want to hang out with me. Just, you you could have just said you you don't want to hang out. Now what's he gonna say? No man, I uh, I really wanna hang out with you. I, I just, uh, uh... Jeez! Don't slam on the brake like that! <gasps> Uncle John! Hey Luke, how's it going? Wait, what's that on your face? Here, let me get it. Ha! I got your nose! I have one final question for you during this job interview. Is this glass empty or half full? Um, That's a trick question. It's full. Congratulations, you're hired. Yes, thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. What's your biggest ache in a guy? Like when they... No, okay. Say it, say no, it. No, 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 that was so mean. Don't I was going to say if they're like really nice. I'm really disappointed in you. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't give me that look. Say something! Why are you so quiet? What are you hiding from me? I'm sorry, Dad, I- Don't you dare talk back to me! What do you want from me? Gee! You better watch your tone, young man. Dad, I want you to read these words from top to bottom and say bear before each word. Bear, 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 say, bear, two, bear, dummy, 
bear this, bear got, bear I, bear long, bear how, bear look. Now, do the same thing, but say the word bear after each word. Bear bear, say bear, two bear, dummy bear, this bear, god bear, I bear, long bear, how bear, look bear. Now I want you to say bear before the word and after the word. Bear bear bear, bear say bear, bear two bear, bear dummy bear, bear this bear, bear god bear, bear I bear, bear long bear, bear how bear, bear look bear. What's the point of this? Finally, read it from bottom to top. Look how long I got this dummy to say bear. <gasps> Dad, I accidentally crashed your truck. You did what? Oh, it's... it's okay. It was just an accident. Really? You're not mad? No, I'm not mad. How about we go to the park and play catch? Yeah, let's go! Dad, what park are we going to? We're going to this new one that just opened. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Dad, are we almost there? It's getting really dark and I'm kind of scared. How do you think I'm going to feel when I have to walk back alone? Get back here! Hey Dad, do you want $10? Um, of course. It's $10. Okay then, I'm going to put my $20 bill on the table and I want you to put yours on the table as well. Okay... Now, I'm going to give you 20, 25, 30 in exchange for your $20. So now I have 40, you have 30, and we both made money. Dad, I bet you $100 that I could drink this glass of milk without touching the towel. Without touching it? Yeah, without touching it. Deal. Okay. You drank it? Uh-huh. Where's my hundred dollars? Wake up, filthy. Dad, what does Y-E-S spell? Yes? Now what does E-Y-E-S spell? E-S. No, it spells eyes. Okay, let's see if you can get this one. How do you spell shop? S-H-O-P. Good. Now what do you do at a green light? Stop. You stop at a green light? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. You could have went, you had lots of time. Hey Luke, do you have any clothes you want me to wash? There's a stop sign. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? There's a stop sign coming up. I see it, Mom. Luke, are you gonna stop? <laughs> that was a close one. You get ten million dollars. Ten million dollars? I'm doing it. Just wait, there's a catch. What is it? You get $10 million, but a snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die. Okay. The snail can't die, and its only purpose is to find you wherever you go. Are you still taking the money? Hey Siri, how long does it take a snail to walk a mile? A snail travels at a speed of 0 .03 miles per hour. So if it doesn't stop, it will take approximately 33 hours to travel one mile. How many miles is half of the Earth? 
half of the Earth is 24,901 miles. And how long would it take a snail to walk that far? For a snail to walk 24,901 miles it would take 821,733 hours, which adds up to 93 years. So I'll just travel to somewhere hot. Whoa, 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 Luke, what are you doing? Why did you just run away from the operation table? Because the nurse kept saying, don't be scared, don't be afraid, this is just a small operation. So? What's wrong with that? Why are you scared? Isn't that a good thing? She was saying that to the surgeon. <coughs> Wake up, Sophie. Please, please, I don't want to die. Do you have any last words? Like, what were you even throwing at? Luke, I told you to never touch that! Wake up, Phil. What makes you mad? What makes me mad? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, can I tell you something? Yeah, what is it? Actually, never mind. Hi, sir. What can I get for you? Hi, I'll just take a medium popcorn and a soda, please. Okay, great. That'll be $20. No, no, I, I said just one popcorn and one drink. Yeah, and your total comes to $20. You've got to be kidding me. No, nope, our prices have gone up. I know, but by that much? Oh, actually, sorry, I, I made a mistake. Whew, okay, good. For a second, I thought you were actually going to charge me $20. Your total will actually be $30. What? I forgot to punch in the soda. Luke, I ran into Graham at the grocery store, and she told me to give this to you. Aww. It's so cute. I just need to put these groceries in the camper, and then I'm ready to leave. Are you packed and ready to go on our trip? Yep. Okay, hop in the truck with Dad, and I'll be there in a couple minutes. Hey, Luke. Wait, why are you upset? My phone just died, and I forgot to bring a wall charger to plug it in. Really? I was just going to ask if I could borrow yours, because Dad and I forgot ours, too. This is going to be the worst camping trip ever. Hey, guys. Grandma made it. Why are you so sad, Luke? His phone's dead and we all forgot wall chargers. Well, what about the one that I gave you? This? Yeah, pull the legs off. <gasps> it's called the Ugreen Nexode RG65 watt charger and it could charge up to three devices at one time. Wow, I think I need to get one too. Where can I get it? You can get it by clicking the button on Luke's profile. Welcome back to school, everyone. This is chemistry class. Hey, Luke. I know you're mad at me because I broke up with you last year, but I want to get back together with you. Sodium hydride hypoglomite. What does that mean? It means nah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's really, really good. <laughs> Luke? Oh, this is so much fun. Where are you? <laughs> Luke, before you start playing any video games today, I'd like you to do your chores first. Okay, can I see the list? Dad, spell off. O-F-F. -F. Spell ice. I C E. Now, if you put them together, what does it spell? Off ice. Say it again. Off ice. Now spell it again. O F F I C E. And what does it spell? O office. Do not buy this speaker. It stops working after like one hour. It's literally the worst financial decision I've ever made. My girlfriend even left me because of it. My cat ran away, and, and then my house burned down. <laughs> Just please listen to me and don't buy it. Honey, I think our son has reading problems. Really? Why do you say that? Well, watch this. Hey, son, can you uh spell this word for us, please? Um, T O M A T O. Good job. What's the word? Disgusting. You see what I mean? Well, that's because you gave him a hard word. Here, let's try again with another word. Can you spell this? Mm, D-A-D. -D. Good job. 
Now put the letters together. Cheater. Wake up. Son, I may be 80 years old, but I've got the body of a 20 year old. Uh huh. I'm, I'm sure you do, Grandpa. I do. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Here, this is for you, grandson. Thank you so much, Grandma. Hey, son. Yeah? Wait a second. Who gave you that money? Grandma did. Really? Well, um, uh, d d d do you want to play a game? What kind of game? I'm going to ask you a question, and if you get it wrong, then you give me that $100. Then you're going to ask me a question, and if I get it wrong, I give you $100. Another $100? Okay. What's the distance between the moon and the earth? Hey Siri, what's the distance between the moon and the earth? The moon is approximately 384,400 kilometers away from the earth. That's not fair! You cheated! You didn't make any rules about Siri. Okay, well from now on, you can't use Siri or anything else. Okay, but now it's my turn. What's 523,621 divided by 322? Um, uh, I don't know. Give me my money. Wake up, Sophie. Hey honey, I'm going to the gym. Do you want to come? Why? Do you think I'm fat? What? No, I didn't mean to... Never mind. You, you don't have to go. Why? Do you think I'm lazy? No, it's okay. Just calm down. Why? Do you think I'm crazy? No, that's not what I meant to say. Oh, so now I'm a liar? Ah! What's the lowest you'll go? The lowest I'll go is 750. How about 150? Sure, let's do it. Perfect. Where do you want to meet? Let's meet on 101 Street in about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Hey, I'm here. Okay, head inside. Into the comedy club? Yeah, then get on stage and tell your jokes to somebody else. Hello? Hi, Mr. Davidson. This is your son's principal speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just phoning to um, let you know, because I think you should know, your son got into a fight. Oh, did he now? Can I speak to him? Sure. I'll hand over the phone right now. Hello? Am I on speakerphone? No. So, who was it? The kid that's been bullying you? Mm-hmm. Well, did you beat him up? Mm-hmm. Atta <laughs> boy, that's what I like to hear. Don't ever let anyone disrespect you, okay? Yes, sir. We should go get some ice cream to celebrate. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, but make sure you act sad for the teacher. No! No, Dad! Please, no! Please, no, no, no! Hey man, what do you want for McDonald's? Oh no, I'm not gonna get anything. I didn't bring any money. Did I ask you if you brought money? What do you want? <laughs> A 10 piece? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm here to pick up my order of chicken and rice. For Luke? Yup. Here you go. Thank you. Really? That's amazing. Miss, may I go to the restroom, please? Yep, go ahead. Thank you. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, it looks like Luke's back from the restroom. You can go now, Eric. <sighs> okay, boys, that was my last game for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, you can play one more. Don't let us down. <sighs> okay, fine. One more, then I gotta go to bed. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, man, we died way too early. We need to play a better game than that. <sighs> You're right, that one was pretty quick. Fine, one more. All right, I'm shutting off my computer. Wait, bro, we can't end on a loss. Just, just one more. Ah, <sighs> it would be nice to end on a win. Fine, one more. Yes, let's go, finally. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, one more, we can't end on a win. Do you want to go to a movie with me and Jesse in a bit? You mean Jesse and I? Me and Jesse are going to a movie and we're wondering if you want to come. Yes, I know. But you said me and Jesse when the correct pronunciation is Jesse and I. Whatever. Do you want to come or not? I'll have to think about it. Okay, well while you're thinking about that, I have a quick story for you. So, yesterday on the news, I seen this guy. You saw him. Yeah, I seen him on the news. No, you saw him on the news. Whatever. I saw this guy on the news that said the movie we're going to. Who? The guy on the news! No, I know, but you said you saw this guy on the news that said when it's actually you saw this guy on the news who said. Forget I even called. Eight things mothers hate. One, when you go out. Two, when you don't go out. Three, when you eat too much. Four, when you eat too little. Five, when you sleep too much. Six, when you don't sleep enough. Seven, when you answer her question. And eight, when you don't answer her question. Bye. Mom, I just called the cops on you. What? Why would you do that? I found your driver's license, and you're not my mom. Your name is Shelly. Sweetie, mom is what you call me, but Shelly is my real name. Officer here, I just got a call for a child kidnapping. Yeah, she's right here. Arrest her. Hello, officer. He's actually my child. He's just freaking out because he found my driver's license. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. That's right. You get her, officer. No, I'm talking to you for making a false report. Wake up, filthy. Hey, Mom. Where are you? Oh, hey, sweetie. I'm just sitting here at home. Oh, you're at home? What are you doing there? Um, I've just been watching some TV the last couple hours since I got home from work, and now I'm about to go and cook some dinner. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, well, I've just been waiting at school for the last three hours for you to pick me up. Wake up, filthy. Excuse me, can I borrow your pen quickly? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Really? It should. Oh, well then, can you try writing your number on my paper? Wake up, filthy. <laughs> I saw your pen. What? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What is it then? It's 1010. No, it's 1818. What are you doing on there? I've just been binge watching this new Netflix series. How are you doing that? Um, with Wi-Fi? What are you talking about? The Wi-Fi's been down the last few hours. Wait, so this whole time I've been using my... Wake up, filthy. Check this out. I just stole three muffins from the bakery. <laughs> You're such a rookie. What do you mean? Let me show you how to do it the honest way, okay? Follow me. Okay. Hey, are you the owner of this bakery? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Well, I've got a magic trick for you. Okay, what is it? If I can make three of your muffins disappear, then reappear, can I get them for free? Um... Deal. <coughs> now what are you gonna do? Poop them out? <laughs> is that the trick? <laughs> no. Check my friend's bag. This is a robbery! Give me everything you've got! I can't. What? I can't. Why can't you? Because. Because what? Because she was my everything. She just left me and now I got nothing. Jeez, man. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope, I hope you feel better. <laughs>
Here's what I did during my week back home in Manitoba. My dad picked me up from the airport, then we rushed to our camper so I could get ready for my cousin's wedding. When we got home from the wedding, I did some golfing with my dad. I got to drive my old car and went to watch a movie with some friends. I did some golfing with some friends. I did more golfing with my parents and my cousins. And I did even more golfing to celebrate my grandpa's 90th birthday with my other side of the family. Then the next day, which is today, I got back home to Calgary. Mom, look who's at the bottom of the stairs. Who's at the bottom, honey? Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from there! You're gonna fall! Get away from there before you hurt yourself! <sighs> I'm tired. <sighs> hey, Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? Oh my goodness! This place is a mess! Mom, look what I got on my chest! Let me see, honey. What? How could you do so bad? Ah, shoot. We're out of paper towel. <laughs> Dad, this Lego is way too hard! <laughs> Honey, can you go help him out, please? Yeah. It's time to come in for dinner now. <laughs> okay, Mom, I'll be in in a couple seconds. <laughs> Bro, I totally forgot about this test. I didn't study at all. I know, me neither. I'm gonna fail, and my parents are gonna be so mad. Right? I just hope I pass. Okay, class, you may turn over the paper and start the test. Teacher, I'm done. The most insane thing ever happened to me, bro. You won't even believe it. Hey, are you even listening to me? It's okay. I got you. So, as I was saying, literally the craziest thing ever happened to me. So, I... Step in my office right now. What is it, sir? I saw you arguing with the customer that just left. I've told you this before, but the customer is always right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The customer is always right. So what were you arguing about with the customer? He said my boss is stupid and an idiot, sir. Really? And what did you say to him? I told him he was right. <gasps> Here's your dinner, Luke. I know it's not much, but I, I had to make something quick because we gotta leave the house soon. What do you mean? This is the nicest looking meal I've ever had. Mom, what do you think of my new jeans? Oh my gosh! They better have given you 50% off for those because only half of them are left. Huh? What the? Where are all the cups? Dad, can I go to the movie theater with my friends? One of their parents said they'd pick me up. Um, I'm not sure. Ask your mother. Mom, can I go to the movie theater with my friends? One of their parents said they'd pick me up. Um, I'm not sure. Ask your father. But he... Okay. Dad, Mom said I can go. Okay, have fun. Mom? Dad said yes. Okay, that's good with me then. I'm just going to the bathroom, guys, but remember, you guys are doing a test, so absolutely no talking, okay? I'll be right back. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Okay, here it is. Miss, Jake just gave Jesse the answer to number two. What? No, he didn't. Class, is this true? Luke, why would you lie about that? That's not funny. Come with me to the principal's office. I'll show you proof! Okay, but I need my phone. Listen to this. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Jesse and Jake, principal's office, right now! 
How did you do that, Luke? I use this app that lets you record the last two minutes of conversation after it happened so you never miss anything ever again. Wow, where can I get that? You can get it by pressing the button on my profile. Hey son, what are you doing home from school so early? I was the only one to answer the question right in class. My son's a genius. What was the question? It was, who put the trash can on the teacher's head? Wake up, filthy. <laughs> you failed your math test? Hey, don't look at my test. Please don't tell mom. Don't tell me what? Luke got an F on his test. <gasps> Let me see. <laughs> Good joke. Huh? <laughs> he got an A+. Plus. What? How? <laughs> Luke, have you seen my glasses anywhere? You broke them! Give them back to me! I'm sorry, Dad! It was an accident, I swear! It's okay. I'm not mad. No, you just need to be more careful next time, okay? Yes, I will. Come here. <laughs> Never touch myself again! If you had five dollars to pick the perfect girlfriend, and here are your options, what would you pick? What? Those options aren't fair. I said pick your perfect girlfriend. Okay then. I would use the $5 to buy 5 water bottles and sell them for $2 each. Then I would repeat this until I get $100 and then I would buy your girlfriend. <laughs> Smart guy. And I would still have $95 left. What size is your TV? Um, I don't know. New? <laughs> That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it? It's I don't knowing. Guys, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it? I don't know. You flippin' idiot! If you don't know, then shut up! Hi, can I get a $4,000 loan, please? For sure, but before we lend you the money, we're gonna need some kind of security. No problem, here are the keys to my car. It's a gray Lamborghini, you'll see it in the parking lot. Hey, I'm here to pay off my loan. Alright, there will be an $11 fee for taking out the loan. Okay, no worries. Also, we're happy to do business with you, but if you don't mind me asking, after you left the other week, I looked into you and found out that you're a millionaire. Why do you need a $4,000 loan? Well, it's quite simple. Where else can I find parking for three weeks in New York for only $11? Honey, I have to ask you something really important. Who do you love more, me or your father? I love you both equally. Okay, well if I went to Italy and your father went to Japan, where would you go? Japan. See? I knew it. You love your dad more than me. No, I just always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, if I went to Japan and your father went to Italy, where would you go? I'd go to Italy. See? You do love your dad more than me. No, it's just I would go to Italy because I would have already been to Japan. Hey Luke, how's it going? Just wanted to let you know your mother and I are home now. Okay. Wait, did you guys eat yet? Yeah, we ate. Why? Because I texted mom to get me something. Do you know if she got it? Oh, let me ask. Hey honey? Yes? Luke said he asked you to get him something to eat. Did you? I forgot. Oh, and you know what's crazy? You told me, and I also forgot. 
I mean, I guess people forget sometimes, right? Yeah, like our son. Huh? You definitely understand, because yesterday when we asked you to clean your room and do the dishes, you said you forgot. No, but, but I actually did forget. Well, don't worry about it then, because next time we will definitely try not to forget your food. on the alphabet of numbers. So, if you guys remember from last time, a quick example for you guys is A divided by C could equal B, or if you square root it, it could also sometimes equal 3. So before we get into the next unit, I have a quick question for you guys. What is A divided by 3? Luke, what's the answer? Today I have a worksheet for you guys about the book that we just finished reading. And you know what guys, I was actually talking to my husband about the book because believe it or not, he just finished reading it as well. And we spoke about the kids towards the Do you agree, Luke? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was thinking the exact same thing. Uh, what, what did your husband think about when the kids discovered they had superpowers? You'll never believe what he said. He told me that when he was younger, something similar happened to him. Oh, I guess that's all the time we have for today's class. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll work on this another time. Yeah. That one thunderboom last night was insane. Yeah, it shook the whole house. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Luke. How was your sleep last night? It was good. That was a pretty crazy storm last night, hey? What storm? Hold it just like this and don't move it, okay? Okay. Hey, what happened to my light? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I thought you were sick. I am. I'm too tired to do anything. So you're too tired to go to school, but not too tired to go on your phone all day? Well, what do you want me to do? Stare at the wall the whole day? If you were really sick, you'd be resting right now. Fine. Where are you going? Even though you're at home sick, I still have work to do on the computer, so just continue resting. Luke, I forgot to ask you something. I told you to rest. I didn't want it to come to this, but it may be the only way to make you sleep. It was almost as if he was a ghost. <laughs> it was like he wasn't even there. <laughs> Hello? Hey man, are you busy right now? Uh, kind of. Why? Well, I have something really important to tell you. What are you doing? I'm watching a live stream. Do you mind calling me back when it's over? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Mom, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, yeah, I did. The new password is 123456. Okay, thanks. It didn't work. Huh? What did you type? 123456. No, it's 123456. Hey, can you do the dishes, please? All of them? 
Yes, all the dishes. But all I did is put one cup in. Don't make me ask you again. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, who are you? I'm your son. Get out of my house before I call the cops. Let me take that from you, honey. Is there anything else I can do? Can you make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Coming right up. I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, the first question was who was the first president of the United States? The girl beside you put George Washington, and so did you. So? Everyone knows he was the first president. Just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln, and so did you. Well, I read the textbook last night, and I remembered that. The next question was who was the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know, and you put me neither. Do! <laughs> Hey, are you that guy that everyone's been talking about who can only hear every second word? What? Oh, um... R, R, U, U, the, the, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every, second, second, word, word. Every second word, 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 every second word. Ah, I wish it wasn't so cold outside. Here, you wanna see something cool? Give me your phone. Okay. Here you go. Whoa, where are we? We're in Costa Rica, baby. Hey Luke, I'm going to the store. You want to come with me? No, I'm watching Netflix right now. Are you sure you don't want to go for a drive with your mother? Yeah, a new season of a show I really like just came out. Okay, I guess I'll go by myself. You know, when you move out, we'll never be able to do this again. I know, Mom. I'll go next time. I carry you for nine months and you can't even come with me for 30 minutes? Remember this? What about this one? Or this one? Okay, enough. I'll go. Mom, where's all my white socks? They should be where they usually are. Well, they're not here. Well, what makes you think I know where they are? Because you did the laundry, and now they're not here. You know what? If you're gonna talk to me like that, you're doing your laundry from now on. <sighs> Son, are you almost ready to leave? Yeah, in a couple seconds. I just need to find some... Wait a second. Where'd you get those socks? Oh, these? I don't know. Your mother just put them in my drawer. Hello? Hi, honey. It's me. Are you still at the golf course? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm at the mall and I found a leather coat. It's only a thousand dollars. Can I get it? Sure. Go ahead if you really like it. Oh, and I stopped by the Mercedes dealership and I saw one that I really liked. How much is it? 98,000. Okay, but for that price, make sure it comes with all the options. Yes! Oh, and one more thing. That house that I really wanted last year is back on the market for 980,000. Well then offer them $900,000 and they'll probably take it, but if they don't, offer an extra $50,000 if you think it's a good price. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much. You're worth it. Bye. Does anybody know whose phone this is? You won't believe what I did during my three-day stay in La Fortuna. The first day, we hopped on a bus to go on a safari float. We saw a bunch of animals like crocodiles, sloths, owls, toucans, and these monkeys that we went under, and they almost did their business on me. Sadly, they got a little bit on my shoe. In the afternoon, we went to La Fortuna waterfall and got to swim beside it. The waves were very strong, as you can see, for me struggling to swim. The next day, we went horseback riding to the volcano. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any good clips while we were riding, but on the way back, we got to gallop at full speed, which was fun. In the afternoon, we walked through the forest to get to the hanging bridges, then on the way back we saw some spider monkeys. After that we stopped at the natural hot springs until it got dark. On the last day we went on 12 zip lines and by the time we finished that and ate, it was almost dark outside so we just explored the town for a bit then went to the hot springs at our resort. I couldn't include everything in this video like these scooters that we rented to get around town and our meals which was some of the best food I've ever tasted in my life. The next morning we rented a car to go to our final stop of the trip. But before we left we went to the rope swing which was super fun.
Day 5 in Costa Rica vlog. The first thing I did when I woke up is enjoyed the nice view of the ocean before heading down to have some breakfast. Today I had an omelette and hash browns, then we headed back to the room to get ready for jet skiing. This was probably my favorite thing we've done this trip, especially doing donuts on them. After this we had a short rest and hopped on some ATVs for a ride through the jungle. We stopped at this town and explored for a little before heading back and unfortunately I wasn't able to get any footage of the ATVs. But here's what I looked like after from all the dust sticking onto my sunscreen. After this we had supper and of course I forgot to record that as well. But the and we ended off the night by going to the neon party that the resort has every other week. Day 15 in Costa Rica. As soon as I woke up, I enjoyed the warm weather and view from our Airbnb since we're going back to the freezing cold on Wednesday. Here's a quick tour of it. We've got the kitchen, the dining table, the living room, the view through the whole place. Then upstairs, there's three more master bedrooms, all with beautiful views. In the morning, I had a protein bar for breakfast and just relaxed. I also hopped in the pool for a bit. Then for lunch, we went to our favorite spot that we've gone the past three days. After that, we hopped on this fishing boat that we had booked and got destroyed by some waves for a couple hours and got soaking wet. We were out there for five Five hours and caught zero fish but hey at least we got to see the sunset we then got ready for dinner and ate at this fish market that we hadn't gone to before after we went back to our airbnb and i watched my favorite youtuber for a few minutes before heading to bed for our final day in costa rica hi hi sir how can i help you today i purchased this the other day but i kind of need the money so i'd like to return it i totally understand do you have the receipt Unfortunately, I thought I was going to keep it, so I threw it out. Oh, well then I can't give you a refund. I need the receipt. But it's brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter unless you give me the receipt. Come on, man. Please? If you want, you can try client services on the second floor. <sighs> Fine. Can I at least get a bag? Yes, of course. Here you go. Thank you. This hotel sucks. Why? What's wrong? Last night, I got no sleep. Every 15 minutes, this loud banging noise woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. How was your guys' stay? Terrible! The guy in the room beside us was snoring so loud that we had to bang on the wall every 15 minutes to wake him up. <gasps> I'd like to cancel my phone plan, please. May I ask why? Well, I just bought a house that came with internet installed already, so I decided I'm gonna switch my phone over to the same provider. Well, how much are you gonna pay at the other provider? It's around the same price, but I just wanna keep everything on the same bill. Well, if you stay with us, I can offer you 50% off per month. What? You're telling me I could've just lied about this and got 50% off? Fine, sir. If that's not enough, I can offer you 70% off. Well, maybe I'll check with the other provider first just to see how much the bundle will cost. Fine. Free! If you stay with us, you don't have to pay. Free? You know what? That's it. If you stay with us, we will pay you a hundred dollars a month. Just please don't leave. Mom, this new show just came out on Disney Plus and it looks so good. We don't have Disney Plus. I know. Can we get it please? No, we already have Netflix, Amazon Prime, and whatever else we have. We don't need another. <sighs> If it's free, then go ahead, but you're not getting my credit card. Yes! Son, your mother and I ha have decided to uh, ground you because you didn't do your chores before playing video games. What? But I asked you and you said I could do them later. I know, just go along with it. I didn't want to tell your mom because she would go mad. Oh, okay. So I, I want you to turn off the computer Give me your phone and no more electronics for the rest of the night. What? Are you serious? No, you can, uh, you, you can go downstairs and watch TV. Just act like you're upset. Okay. Come on, Dad. We have uh, also decided you have to uh, cook your own supper tonight. What? It's okay. I'll order you pizza to the basement door. Okay. So uh, in a couple seconds, I'm going to shut the door because you have nothing else to do. So you better go to bed. Come on, I'll distract mom while you go to the basement. Mom, how much longer? We just got here. I've only put one thing in the cart. <sighs> mom, are you almost done? We're about halfway done.
All right, this is the last thing. Now let's go pay. Yes! I can't wait to get home. <laughs> wait a second. Is that Carla? Hi, Shelly. Long time no see. <laughs> Mommy, come here. Hold on, I'm coming. All right, what is it you want me to see? Watch this. I'm watching. <laughs> hey, don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. Hey officer, my wife is missing. She went out yesterday and she never came home. Okay, stay calm, sir. What's her height? <sighs> um, maybe like 5'5? Five, five? No. 5'7? Five, 5'6? Seven? Five, I'm not too sure. She's shorter than me. Okay, what's her weight? I have no clue. Um, she's not really slim, but she's not really big. What about her eye color? I think they're green. Wait, no, brown. Actually, I don't know. I, re I never really looked that close. What color is her hair? Uh, I'm not too sure. She just went to a new hairdresser, so it changed. Okay, what was she wearing when you last saw her? She was wearing a blue dress. Or were those jeans? Or maybe she was wearing shorts. I don't know. <sighs> Did she take a vehicle when she left? Yes, she took my vehicle. And would you happen to know the brand? Yes, it's a 2022 Black Sport Appearance Ford F-150 Lariat 5 liter V8 engine with 400 horsepower and 400 torque stock. But I installed a 3 liter Whipple supercharger, so now it has 775 horsepower and 685 torque. It has a max trailer tow package, so it has a big 136 liter gas tank, black leather seats, power deployable running boards, twin moonroof, FX4 off-road package with skid plates, Bang & Olufsen unleashed 18 speakers, sound system, 360 cameras, blue cruise circuit drive itself, power tailgate, 2000 watt generator built in the bed, 3.73 electric lock rear axle, upgraded all-terrain tires, 20 inch 5 spoke, dark alloy wheels, and it also has a Borla attack exhaust with black chrome tips, and unfortunately one of them has a dent in it from a rock. Don't worry sir, we'll find your vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect, let's see how they turned out. The heck? Where's the teacher? She's not here yet. Did you know if she doesn't come in the next 15 minutes, we're allowed to leave? I'm serious, we're legally allowed to leave if she doesn't come in the next 14 minutes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Like if we walk out of the school, the principal can't stop us because that would be illegal. We're legally allowed to leave if she doesn't come. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's so hot outside. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I have an idea. What is it? Let's walk down to the store and get some ice cream. Yes! Let's do it! Hey man, remember when we were younger and we used to always finish each other's sentences? Yeah, those were the good old days. Why do you ask? Well... I'm wondering if we could do that again. All right, so this is going to be your workspace right here. Um, is that the fire alarm? Yes, it is. We better get out of here. Oh, and you know the drill, right? Yeah. Hi, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, same to you. Sit down. I can stand. I told you to sit down. Please, miss. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. Do you know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey, man. How's it going? Okay class, today we're going to play a game where you remove the third letter from your name. Jeez, all of a sudden, I'm in a really good mood. There's a snake in my boots! Dad, can you transfer me money for lunch, please? I'm Batman. Is that me? <laughs> if you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. I feel like I'm missing a pair. Where could they be? I can't keep living like this. What do you mean, man? This is what we're made for. I know, but, but, but. But what? But spit it out. His feet smell so bad. Oh, 
Here they are. I think he's coming back. That's it, man. I'm making a run for it. What? You can't leave me. We're a pair. I'm sorry, man, but I can't do it anymore. No, man. Wait. <laughs> Today we're going to be learning about square root. Oh, everybody line up at the door. Hey, no running. We need to go in a single file line. Leave your backpack, Luke. We don't have time. But it's already on my back. I said we don't have time! Now everybody, follow me. Uh, miss, do you think we can... Honey, would you be happy if I got you jewelry for Valentine's Day? Aww, nothing would make me more happier. Sweetie, happy Valentine's Day. Where's the jewelry? When I asked you if you wanted that, you said nothing would make you happier. <gasps> Listen class, we only have a few minutes left, so I'm gonna come around and hand out tonight's homework. It's only three questions long, Luke. Oh, perfect. That won't take very long then. Luke, do you have any homework? It's getting close to bedtime. Yeah, but it won't take very long. I'll do it in a couple seconds. <sighs> I better go do my homework. Actually, it'll only take a couple minutes. I'll do it in the morning. <sighs> okay. Oh, what am I forgetting? Ketchup. No. Mom, we're out of ketchup. Really? Let me see. Kaden, how old is your father? He's 39 years old, miss. And Luke, how old is your father? He's the same age as me. That makes no sense. What are you talking about? He became a father when I was born. <gasps> Bread, milk, chicken, rice. Can you put some peanut butter on the shopping list? Okay, I'll be right back. Why did you tell me to do this? Now I can't even read it. Huh? Psst, nerd. Give me a worksheet so I can copy it. But I'm still, um, I'm, I'm still working on the last question. Does it look like I care? The bell's about to ring soon, and I haven't done anything, so give me your worksheet or else you'll get a knuckle sandwich. Please, I, re I really need to finish it before the end of class, or my parents will be upset. You asked for it. <laughs> Hey! Luke, no chewing gum in class! Who made this mark on the wall? That was Luke, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. What are you talking about? Luke, tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. Why would you blame me for ruining a wall in Jimmy's bedroom when I never go in there? It's true, Mom. He hasn't been in my room today. What? So you're saying you did it? No, Luke still did it. That's what I thought. Your last birthday card here is from Grandma. Thank you so much, Grandma. Why don't I put that money in a safe spot so you don't lose it? Okay, good idea. Mom, do you know where Dad is? I'm pretty sure he's outside in the garage. Okay, thank you. Hey, Dad, where did you put my money? What am I doing? Eh, not much. I just picked up this brand new tool today, so I'm just in the garage testing it out. Oh, Mom, we're here. Hey, guys, how was the drive? Meh, it was boring. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I make you guys drive here. <laughs> and how's my beautiful daughter-in-law doing? I love the new hair. I'm doing good, and thank you. Good to hear. And where are the kids? Here, they come right now. Hey, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. And where's the other one? The other what? <laughs> Mom? Dad? You guys ready to leave yet? Here's your baby, sir. Aw, thank you. Unfortunately, I have some bad news, though. Your wife didn't make it. Then give me the one my wife made! <gasps> Hello? Who is this? I'm Watt. What's your name? Watt's my name. Yes, what's your name? My name is John Watt. John Watt? Yes, are you Andy? No, I'm not. Can you tell me your name, then? Will not. Why not? My name is not. Not what? Not what? Not. And this is my favorite room. It's the office. Are there any ghosts? Any what? Does the house have any ghosts? Oh, no, of course not. <sighs> Dang. You want ghosts? 
It's just, I don't have many friends, and I'm gonna be lonely here by myself, so I'd like some people to talk to. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no ghosts here. Shall we move on to the rest of the house? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh. Um, with who? I'll take it. Alright, I'm headed to the spa for the day, so I'll see you two later tonight. Drive safe, dear. Bye, Mom. It's looking like it's going to be hot and sunny out today, which is perfect because this morning at 8am, the yearly theme park opened. And if you remember from previous years, it's only open one day of the year. So stop by at any time today and have some fun. Dad, can we go to that? Mm, maybe in a bit, but don't bother me about it or we won't be going, okay? Okay. So, did you guys do anything fun today? No. Oh yeah, did you want to go to that theme park today? Why didn't you remind me? I would have taken you. How much would you sell your horse for? I'd sell it to you for $2,000. 2000 Deal. Perfect. You can come and pick him up tomorrow. Hey, I'm here to pick up the horse. I have some bad news. Unfortunately, the horse passed away. <sighs> you know what, it's fine. Just give me my money back. I can't do that. I already spent it all. <sighs> okay, then give me the dead horse. Why? What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna raffle it off. You can't raffle off a dead horse. Of course I can. I just won't tell anyone that it's dead. Hey man, what happened to the dead horse? Did you end up raffling it off? <laughs> I sure did. I sold 500 tickets for $25 each and made a total of 25,000. Did anyone complain? Just the guy that won. So I gave him his money back. <gasps> No, 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 please, please. What the? Why is it praying? It must be a nice bear. I always pray before I eat. <laughs> Today was the worst, man. I know, man. Mine too. My little brother got hit by a bus. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. What was bad about your day? I got fired today for my job as a bus driver. Luke, go have a shower. Can I have one tomorrow? I'm watching TV. You didn't have one yesterday, so you probably stink, and it's getting close to your bedtime, so go have one right now. Fine. Jeez, that was quick. Yeah, well, you know, I just needed to wash with soap and water down, and now I'm done. It's past your bedtime. Go to bed. Okay, good night. in 15 minutes and I need to pick some things up from a different store. Please? Fine. You know what? Here's $10 to buy a toy and I want you to meet me back right here in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. $9.99? Perfect. Is this everything for you today? Okay, so with tax, the total comes to 10.65. Hey, I need a battery so I can tell the time. Is it for a clock? I don't know. That's why I need the batteries. <gasps> I'm just 
laying in bed. I'm really bored. I don't know what to do. Are you serious? You couldn't find anyone better? Mom! Don't say that in front of her. That's really mean, and I love her. Honey, I wasn't talking to you. Wake up, Sophie. Dad, I bet you can't say Coca-Cola without your lips touching each other. Um, oh, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I did it. Now say it normally. Coca-Cola. See? Your lips didn't even touch. Wake up, so as you guys know, I mean, <laughs> lots of you guys... Boys, zip it while I'm talking. I'm not going to ask you again. So, as I was saying, I... That's it. Jesse, move to that seat over there. Miss, if I sit beside my best friend, I'll whisper to him. But if you move me across the class, I'll shout at him. It's your choice. Wake up, filthy. Ow! What was that for? <laughs> That's it. Okay, don't panic. Just select all of the motorcycle. There we go. Okay, okay. What about in the corners here? Oh yeah, definitely that's a piece. Okay, okay. Did I get all the tire? Oh no, there we go. I wonder if the feet count. Oh, actually, is that part of it? Yeah, I'm gonna... Actually, no. Actually, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's go with that. Now, is that a tiny piece by his hand? Oh, actually, that's a mirror, of course. Okay, okay. I think we're good. Jeez, it's cold out. I need to move closer to the fire. I got it! I got it! <laughs> oh, jeez, guys, I'm really thirsty. I'll be right back. Luke, it's either inside or out, okay? Okay. Actually, Luke? Yeah? Don't go back outside. Dinner's almost ready. I'm really bored. What should we do? Why don't we go to my house? We could like go swimming in my pool. I even have a ping pong table. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, only if your parents are okay with it though. Oh yeah, don't worry. I already asked them and they said they're fine with it. Okay, as long as they said that. Yeah, let's go. So you're sure it's okay with your parents, right? Yeah, man. Don't worry. They're cool with it. Okay, just making sure. Just wait here for a second. Dad, is it okay if Luke comes over? Wait, I thought you... He said he really wants to come over and use our pool and stuff. You offered. Um, I don't know. We're pretty busy here. We're about to have company over. Oh, okay, because I told him I wasn't really sure if he could or not. Yeah, I think your friend needs to learn some more manners. Close one. <laughs> Babe, are you almost ready to leave? Almost. I just have a quick question for you. Should I wear the purple or the green? Um, the green. I'm gonna wear the purple, but thank you.
here's what I did during my weekend in Toronto. When I got there, I tried to sleep because I woke up at 4 a.m., but I couldn't fall asleep, so I ended up dancing instead. And I practiced some lines while I waited for my manager to pick me up because Nintendo of Canada invited me to their event. When we got there, they had this VIP tent for us. I got to meet a bunch of fans. I got to play games with fans. I got introduced by the host, AJ. Then at the end of the night, I got to watch the Super Mario Bros. movie. The next day, I took this Uber to meet my manager for lunch. Then after she showed me a bit of downtown Toronto since she used to live there, we went to the distillery district, then to Dundas Square, which has all these fancy billboards. Then we went back to the drive-in theater where I did more filming for Nintendo, played more games, met more fans, and even did my best Mario impression. It's a mini Mario! Then on my final day, I was on my own, so I got an Uber to the CN Tower. There was a massive line though, so I checked out the aquarium first. I saw my first seahorse, this shark swam over top of me, and I even got to see a worker feed a stingray. Then I went to the top of the CN Tower. I could even see the Blue Jays playing from up there. Then I walked around and found this burger place. Then I did more walking around by the lake, until it was time for me to catch my flight back home. <gasps> Mom, the house is on fire! Should we call the fire department? No! Let's just sit here and watch it burn down the whole house. Ba -da 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 -da. Yep. <laughs> yep. Why do you keep saying that? Who? Me? No! The rain outside. Hey, do you need anything from the grocery store? Oh, are you there right now? No! I'm sitting in the living room at home. So, why should we hire you? What? Because you're hiring. I'm sorry, but that's not an acceptable answer. Oh yeah? Well, you know what? Why should I accept this position? What? Yeah. Why is this position open? Do people keep quitting? Uh... Why are people quitting this job? Is there something you're not telling me? Um, that's not in here. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I'll see you Monday at 9 a.m. <gasps> oh, I love this movie. I've already watched it, obviously, but the plot is so good. I, I want to see what you think of it. Imagine if she fails the test and it causes her not to graduate, but then she wakes up and realizes it's all a dream, but now she knows what questions are going to be on the test, so she studies them and then ends up passing. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be pretty sick, <laughs> but no. Keep this between the two of us, but yesterday, Mom put $100 on the counter and I took it without her knowing. <sighs> That's not even that bad. A couple of weeks ago, I stuck out to a party while Mom and Dad thought I was sleeping. You did what? Oh, hi Eric. Did you hear what we were talking about? I heard the whole thing. <sighs> Please don't tell Mom. You're gonna have to give me something. Fine. I'll give you five dollars. That's not enough. <sighs> Ten. Make it twenty. Deal. We'll give you twenty. Let's just split it ten dollars each. Actually, I also want that hoodie. No! This is brand new! Mom! Fine! Take it! Thank you. Mom! You won't believe what Luke and Tommy did! Alright class, I finally finished marking the test you guys wrote last week, so I'm gonna come around and hand them back. Here you go, Luke. Thank you. Jeez, I really need to clean my binder. Alright, what do I not need? Nope. Nope. You know what? Perfect. <sighs> Much better. Good morning class, I had some troubles with my computer last night, so I'm going to need that test that I gave you guys yesterday back so I could re-enter the marks. Hello mom, and you are? Tell him your name. Oh, um, I'm Luke. And what brings you in today, Luke? He has a sore wrist. Your left or your right? My right. His right. How did you hurt it? He fell when he was snowboarding. Hmm, I see. Do you mind if I take a look? Use your voice, you're 20 years old. I smelt it first. Just play it cool, Luke. Yeah. Pretend like you never smelt anything. Ah, oh, who 
sitting in front of me. Luke, did you fart? No. What are you doing? No. 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 Erase that. No. No. Please. No, 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 no. No. Hey, officer. My wife is missing. She went out yesterday and she never came home. Okay, stay calm, sir. What's her height? <sighs> um, maybe like 5'5"? Five, five? No. Five seven, five six. I'm not too sure. She's shorter than me. Okay, what's her weight? I have no clue. Um, she's not really slim, but she's not really big. What about her eye color? I think they're green. Wait, no, brown. Actually, I don't know. I, I never really looked that close. What color's her hair? Uh, I'm not too sure. She just went to a new hairdresser, so it changed. Okay, what was she wearing when you last saw her? She was wearing a blue dress. Or were those jeans? Or maybe she was wearing shorts. I don't know. Did she take a vehicle when she left? Yes, she took my vehicle. And would you happen to know the brand? Yes, it's a 2022 Black Sport Appears Ford F-150 Lariat 5 liter V8 engine with 400 horsepower and 400 torque stock. But I installed a 3 liter Whipple supercharger, so now it has 775 horsepower and 685 torque. It has the max trailer tow package, so it has a big 136 liter gas tank, black leather seats, power deployable running boards, twin moonroof, FX4 off-road package with skid plates, Bang & Olufsen Unleashed 18 speakers, sound system, 360 cameras, blue cruise circuit drive itself, power tailgate, 2000 watt generator built in the bed, 3.73 electric lock rear axle, upgraded all-terrain tires, 20 inch five spoke dark alloy wheels, and it also has a Borla attack exhaust with black chrome tips. And unfortunately, one of them has a dent in it from a rock. Don't worry, sir. We'll find your vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. Dad? What? You're supposed to be sleeping. You have school tomorrow. I can't fall asleep. There's something in my closet. What do you mean? Of course there's stuff in your closet. That's what it's meant for. No, I mean something big, giant, ugly, hairy, and scary. <sighs> Fine, let me check. Listen. <gasps> Hello, I'm Dr. Davidson. Um, I hear you're not feeling very well. Yeah, for like the past week now, I've just been really lightheaded and dizzy. It looks like I'm gonna have to draw blood if that's okay. Okay. And I'm done. Thank you for your patience. What do you think? I named him Mr. Vessel. Aww. Wait. All right, a uh, final question. Can you count from five to 10 for me? Sure, uh, five, six, seven, eight, 10. Congratulations, you've got the job. Thank you so much, sir. I won't let you down. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name's Luke. What's yours? Oh, I don't have a name. What do you mean you don't have a name? Everyone has a name. I do have a name. Then what is it? I don't have a name. Oh. You see that old lady right there? Do you want to go steal her purse? No. Why would you even say something like that? Oh, my mom's calling. Hello? Hi, honey. You had me worried. I've called you like five times now. Where are you? Tell her you're with me. Uh, I'm with Jesse. Oh, you're with Jesse? Why didn't you tell me? Can I talk to him? Sure. Hello, Mrs. Davidson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'll drop off Luke in a few minutes. I know it's getting late. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't mind him being out late if it's with you. You're a good kid. Aw, thanks, Mrs. Davidson. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. Bye. Jeez. What a good kid. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go rob that store that the lady just walked into. Do you remember what that TV show we started watching yesterday is called? Mm, 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 mm. Come on, you're the one who wanted to watch it. You should remember. Mm, 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 mm. I think it started with like an O or something. It's, oh, I found it, Outer Banks. Hey, I'm home from work. Oh. I shouldn't have eaten those beans. Hey honey, I have a surprise for dinner tonight. Can you put this blindfold on? Sure. Okay, now I'm gonna guide you to take a seat in the living room. Okay. <sighs> J 
Just one second. I gotta take this. Don't peek. I'll be right back. Don't worry. I won't. Oh, oh my stomach. Oh, I really shouldn't have eaten those beans. Okay, honey, I'm back. Did you take a peek? Nope. Okay, you can take it off now. Okay class, now I want you guys to discuss your answer with the person beside you. So, uh, wh what'd you get? Do you even know how to do this question? No. Me neither. <sighs> what time is it? Everything alright? Honey, I love you so much. Aww, I love you too. One day, I'm gonna make you mine. And I can't wait for that day to happen. Remember a few years ago? I told you we were gonna do this. <sighs> yeah. Luke, I have a riddle for you. What has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you use it? A glow stick. Nope. Yes, before you use a glow stick, you have to break it or else it won't work. That is true, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. <sighs> your heart. Uh... Before you can use your heart, it has to be broken by someone first. Nope, that's still not it. <sighs> I don't know, what is it? The answer is an egg. What comes once a year, twice in a month, four times in a week, and six times in a day? Do you know the answer? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Let's try this again. Uh, excuse me, where's my table? Hi miss, uh, what's the name on the reservation? I don't need a reservation, I know the owner. I'm sorry, but we can't seat you unless you have a reservation. Are you serious? You're the worst waiter I've ever met, just let me in. I'm sorry, but I can't. You either have to wait two hours or make a reservation for another night. You know what? You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna show you that I know the owner. Hello? Hi, sweetie. I need you to call the owner right now, please. Okay. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Is this bike for sale? Yes, it is. Would you like to purchase it? Mm, what's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest I'll go? <sighs> Probably like two miles per hour. Anything slower and you'll tip over. Hey mom, can I- No! I was just asking if I could- No! Hear me out mom, I just want- No! <sighs> no! Fine. Hey, didn't I ask you to clean the house today? Well I tried asking you if you wanted me to clean the dishes, but you said no. Then I tried asking if you wanted me to back in the house, but you said no again. I even considered doing your laundry, but you just kept saying no. Oh. Can I please- Yes! Yes you can. Okay, thanks. I'm going over with my friends. I'll be back at 1am. Mom, look what I got on my report card. Oh, you got one A minus and the rest A pluses. I thought I raised you better. You should have studied harder. Look what I got on my report card. Who are you? Your son? Oh yeah, what'd you get? I got all A pluses. Oh, cool. Mommy, look what I got on my report card. Good job, honey. I'm so proud of you. You passed one class. Let's go for dinner to celebrate. Dad, can you come outside and play? No. Dad, I was just wondering if you could possibly come play catch with me outside for a little bit. Yes, that's the one. Sorry, son. Maybe another time. No. I would love to. I'm just really busy right now. Dad, what does this say? Um, empty? Now what does it say? Empty. 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 What is your biggest fear? I'm terrified of heights. I avoid all tall buildings and even libraries. Why libraries? Because they have the most stories. Luke, do you want some chips for the movie? No thanks, I'm good. I'm trying to eat healthy. 
Okay. Ah, just wait. I gotta go to the bathroom first. Sitting on, not standing on. Oh, I'm hungry. Mom, when are you going grocery shopping next? We're all out of food. Uh, excuse me. Don't talk to me in that tone. And what are you talking about? We have plenty of food. Hey, pick that garbage up. Mom, look at my palace. Oh, yes, it's very nice, sweetie. What have you done? It's not that big of a deal, Mom. I'll clean it up. First few bites tasting, sir. Very good. That's good to hear. Is there anything I can help you with right now? Um, I think I'm good for now. Okay, enjoy. Actually, wait. Sir? Hmm, two plus three equals five. Does it? Let me just make sure. Two plus three equals, yeah, five. Wait, let me, let me just make sure one more time. Two plus three equals five. Okay. No diving! So it says here that you slept on it funny? Uh-huh. <sighs> Jesse, can you come here? What? You want some help? No! I want you to stand there and watch me. Hey mom, are you still vacuuming? No! I'm walking the dog! Is that you? No! That's my twin brother. 
but you don't have a twin brother. Luke, what's my Amazon password? How would I know? Because you're young, you should know these things. Did you try my name? Yes. What about my birthday? No, nope, didn't work. I don't know then, why don't you just change it? Can you do that? I don't know how. Okay, now you just need to log into your email and change the password. But I don't know my email's password. Did you do your chores? No, not yet. I'll do them after I finish this game. That's it. Give me your controller right now. I'm taking this for a month. Now go do your chores before I take something else away. Gerald, did you do your chores yet? My name's Connor. I know I haven't yet. Can I do them after I finish this show? Oh yeah, whatever. As long as they're done by the end of the day. Sweetie, did you do your chores yet? No, I'm too busy playing a game on my phone. You know what, my little angel? It's okay. I'll go do them myself because I don't want you to hurt yourself before your baseball game in four months. Hey, Mom? Yeah? Do you need any help? Oh, no. I'm good. Thanks for asking, though. Okay, I'm just gonna go watch some TV then. Ah, no one ever helps me clean this dang house. Luke, can you take out the trash, please? Just let me do it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, is that peanut butter? Oh, I needed that. Mommy, can I get these shoes for school? I want you to try them on to make sure they fit first. Okay. Okay, can I get them on? How do they feel? Let me see where your toes are. Okay, can I get them down? Go for a walk to make sure you like them. Okay, can I get them down, please? How much are they? They're $110. What? I'm only buying you shoes if they're on sale. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay then, get out. Just wait, I got bit by a wolf. Where? No, just a regular one. <gasps> Mom, I'm gonna start the movie. Are you ready? Just wait, I'm getting a drink. <sighs> okay. Are you ready now? Actually, just wait. I better go to the washroom first. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. This movie is based on a true story about Alfred Pickleman as a young boy who... Mom, what? You know I can read, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I know that actor. He's from the movie with, um, ah, what's your name? I don't know, Mom. Ah, that's gonna bug me. What are you doing? Sorry, I was just getting a snack. What did I miss? Here, I'll just go back. No, 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 just tell me. The guy basically just drove back to his house after getting the phone call. Oh my gosh. I wonder if someone's gonna be waiting there for him. I was not expecting that. Were you? Son, I have the wrong tool. Can you go to the garage and get the stork beak pliers, please? Okay. What does it look like? It just looks similar to regular pliers. There's too many of them. They all look the same. It should be in a red container. Forget it. You're no help. I'll get it myself. I like the smell of your hair! I like the smell of your hair. I like the smell of your hair! I like the smell of your hair. I like the smell of your hair, young lady. Okay, class, I want everyone to introduce themselves by saying their first name and something that you enjoy doing. We're going to start off with the boys first. My name is Luke, and I like watching sports. My name is Jesse, and I like watching sports too. My name is Todd, and I also like watching sports. Wow, all the boys love watching sports. What about the girls? 
My name is Sports. Okay, class, the books you guys ordered finally came in, so if I say yours, just raise your hand. The first one is How to Talk to Girls. Did you just fall? No, I'm sleeping. What'd you get from the grocery store? Just some eggs. Are you gonna cook them? No, I'm gonna throw them at the neighbor's house. I think I'm gonna buy this shirt. But are you gonna wear it? No, I'm gonna throw it in the trash. So everyone would agree with me that we can't breathe underwater, right? What? You don't believe me? Are you guys ready to order yet? Yes, I'll get the Skrlaba Jazeva de Balaba de Pau. Okay, and that comes with your choice of a side of either replenished French meat fries, my personal favorite, or Salido Crissante. Which one would you like? Um, I'll get the first one, please. Okay, good choice. And what can I get for you, sir? I'm gonna get the Slabobo Gabobo Beef. All right, and that comes with a side of linguine red pepper hot spiced garlic shrimp. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Perfect. And what unique thing on the menu would you like to try, young lad? Hmm, can I get... <gasps> Chicken nuggets! Oh. Hello? Hey man, do you want to hang out today? Uh, I'm actually playing Genshin Impact on my computer right now because an update just came out, so I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry. Ah, that's it! Mom, can I please get a computer? Why do you want a computer all of a sudden? Because my friend is always playing this really fun open world RPG game where you play with different heroes that each have their own special abilities. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Let's go to the store right now. But it's gonna be your early birthday present, okay? Okay! Thank you so much! That's the one! Right there! A thousand dollars?! I'm not buying that! Please, Mom! I just wanna play Genshin Impact with my friend! You know you can play that on your mobile device, right? What? Really? Yeah! Come on, bro. Show me what you got. You're gonna catch one of these in the face if you're not careful. Oh, yeah? Not if I beat you to it. Boys, can you please stop fighting? Yeah, she's right. Good fight. Yeah, bro. You throw a mean punch. Aw, thanks, man. You have good form. I'll see you around. Thanks, bro. Take care. Honey, can you get Luke to come help me with the dishes, please? Yup. Hey, Luke. Oh. He's sleeping right now. Oh, okay. Don't bother him then. He had a busy day. He needs to rest. Okay. Hello? Hey man, are you busy today? Um, hold on. Let me check my calendar. Uh, yeah, I do have a really busy day today. Why did you ask? I was just wondering if you wanted to go golfing with me. Oh yeah, I'd love to, it's just I, I don't have any time today. Maybe next time. No worries, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. Whew. Luke, it's time to go to bed. But it's only 7 p.m. I know, but school is starting up next week and you need to get back onto a schedule, so give me your phone. Can I just stay up for one more hour? Give me your phone, now! Thank you. Good night. Sorry, honey. I forgot to give you a hug. I'm just gonna quickly go tell my mom that we're leaving. Can you start the car? Yup. Where are you guys going? Can I come? No, you can't. Now go play with your dolls or something. <laughs> yeah, get lost, loser. Say sorry to my brother. What? But, but you just... Fine, I'm sorry. Now give me my keys and leave my house. Seriously? Now!
listened properly. <sighs> What did you say? You should have listened properly. <gasps> I thought you went to bed. Pick it up. Pick up what? The ice cubes under the fridge. Now put them in the sink. While the contestant was running from Nolan? Hey Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? He's lucky my- What? Is protein Excuse me miss, I have a question about the video. One second, let me just quickly pause the video so I can hear you better. Fibrous chains containing proteins. Bundles of thousands of fibers make up the muscle itself. When an athlete engages in a- Okay, what were you gonna ask? Breaking news, the Knockout Battle Royale game called Fall Guys just released their new season today. If you think you have what it takes to be the last one standing, then you can play it now for free on all platforms. Finally, something fun to do. What the? Luke, can you go cut the grass please? What are you hey guys Luke? Doing? Um, I guess you'll find out. You haven't built anything yet. It's the found game. What? First off, why do you watch other people play video games? The same reason you watch other people play sports. <gasps> So tell me, what's wrong with you? I'm just really afraid of the third letter, the ninth letter, and the fifteenth letter of the alphabet. Oh, I see. <laughs> Alright, first question. Are you the killer? No. Are you sure? Yes. Killer say what? What? Ha! We got him! Guilty! Come on, Luke, you can do this. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's Mom, we're gonna be late for my soccer game. You know, your generation has no patience. When I was your age, if I was standing at the door like you are, my mom would be yelling at me that I'm not helping her with the dishes. Ah! Come on, you stupid computer! I don't have all day! Slow down, slow down! You're going way too fast! I'm going 41 in a 40 zone. Do you see that stop sign up there? Yes, it's a long ways away though. Are you sure you see it? Yes, mom, I see it. Well, are you gonna slow down or what? Come on, uh, use the right pedal. There we go, thank you. Mom, the light just turned red. Oh, thank you. Is there a problem, officer? Sir, you were speeding. Oh, okay. Can I see your license, please? I would give it to you, but I don't have one. You don't have one? I lost it a few years ago for drunk driving. I see. Can I have your vehicle registration papers, please? I can't give you those either. Why not? I stole this car. Stole it? Yeah, and I killed the owner. You what? 
His body's in the trunk. I need backup right now. Sir, can I get you to step out of the vehicle, please? Why? Is there a problem? One of my officers told me that you stole this car and murdered the owner. Murdered the owner? Yes. Can you please open the trunk? Yeah, of course. Hmm, I didn't find anything. Is this your car? Yeah, here are the registration papers. My officer also claims that you don't have a license. Here it is. My officer said that you didn't have a license, stole this car, and murdered the owner. I bet that liar told you I was speeding, too. Dinner's ready. Okay, I'll be there in like 30 seconds. No, you're gonna turn it off and come eat right now. Five? Okay, okay. Mom, is dinner almost ready? Oh, shoot. We just finished eating. Sorry, I forgot to come and tell you that it was ready. Dinner's ready. Okay, I just need to finish this game, then I'll come. Of course, honey. You can come whenever you're ready. You know what? I'll bring you your food so you can continue playing. No, I should get it because I always get 100% on my tests. But I've never skipped a day of class. What are you two arguing about? We found this $20 bill and decided to give it to whoever could tell the biggest lie. You should be ashamed of yourselves. When I was your age, I didn't even know what a lie was. Ah, you win. I can't wait to eat some candy. Mr. Lou, how's it going? Luke, long time no see. What are you doing here? I'm just here to pick up my younger brother from basketball practice. Oh, well then follow me. I'll unlock the door for you. Oh, thank you. Quick, act natural so they don't think you're stealing. But I'm not stealing. I know, but they're gonna think you are because you're not buying anything. Hey Grandma, do you have something that I could drink with this? Like juice or something? Um, let me see. You're in luck. Thank you. Hi Grandma. Hey young man, do you have a girlfriend yet? Nope, not yet. Good. Stay away from us girls. We're evil. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Luke. Do you have a girlfriend yet? No, not right now. Good. Keep it that way for as long as you can. Hey, Grandma. Where is your wife? You should be married by now. I just need to buy some towels, then we can go home. Can I go look at toys? Yes, but I'm not buying anything for you today, okay? That's okay. I just want to go look. Okay, once I find the towels, I'll come to the toy section. Are you ready to go, Luke? Mom, look! No! No, Mom, you don't understand. This slingshot is really rare and there's only one in stock. I told you, I'm not buying you anything today. Please, Mom! I'll do anything if you buy this for me. I won't get another toy for a long time. No! Now put it back and let's go home. Boys, unfortunately, I just ran out of candy. Sorry about that. Oh, come on! You are blind down! Well, actually, I got home from my job a couple hours ago, but okay. This house is not selling any candy! Technically, I was never selling any candy because it was free, but whatever. Oh, no! you get and now there's a random unicorn. You know what? It's time for bed. Look who we got today, Dad! <laughs> Take it back to where you got it! Why? Mom told me we could get him. Honey, what did I say about getting a dog? Well, this is your responsibility, and I'm not helping you out. That means you gotta take it for walks so we can go to the bathroom, you gotta feed it food and water, and I'm not buying it, and when we go away for a couple days, you're the one that's gonna be finding a place for it to stay, okay? Okay. So you know how I went to the movie theater last night? Yeah, just wait, I think there's something on your glasses. Oh, really? What? Why are you staring at me like that?
Sorry, what were you saying? Mm hmm yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah, and before I let you go, I'm gonna give the phone to Luke. Mm hmm he would love to talk to you. Okay, yeah, it was nice talking to you. Okay, bye, love you. Take the phone. Hello, Grandma. Can we go watch a movie? No, I'm busy right now. Get out of my room. Ah! <laughs> Hello? You're grounded for a month. That means no more electronics. What? Why? Your brother told me what happened to the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with it. Then send me a picture of the wall beside your TV right now. Okay. Let me quickly download this photo editing app by pressing the button on my profile. Then I'm gonna use the eraser tool to get rid of the damage on the wall. There we go, now let's send that to mom. And one more thing. Connor Fiddle Sticks Repairs, how can I help you? Hi, I just need a small area on my wall repaired. Tuna. <laughs> ah! You're scared, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm ah! <laughs> Chill out, it's just a movie. <laughs> Based on true events, so scary, am I right? Mom, are you okay? You've been lying in here since you got home from work a few hours ago. You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone. <laughs> Truth or dare? Um, dare. I dare you to give me your phone number. Actually, never mind. I choose truth. Okay then. What is your phone number? <gasps> Mom, can you help me with this crossword? The clue is overworked mailman. Sure. How many letters? I'm guessing too many. <gasps> <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I just lost $60 on the ground and I can't find it. You know what? Here's a $20 bill. Really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello? Guess what? I just gave $20 to a kid who was crying. Aww, that's so nice of you. Yeah, and I also found $60 on the ground. You're still sleeping? I've been up since 4.30. If you keep doing this, you're gonna sleep your life away. Hello, sir. Are you interested in buying a vehicle? No! I came here to make some new friends. Hey, where are you right now? I'm at the airport. Oh, are you going on a trip? No! I came here to go grocery shopping. <sighs> oh, it's dark outside. No, really? I thought it was the middle of the day. Hey, Luke, you know why your name starts with an L? Why? Because you're a loser. L for loser. Hey, don't call me that. It makes me feel sad inside, and it really hurts my feelings. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? Hey, teacher, he called me a loser. Jesse, can you please say sorry to Luke? Fine. I'm sorry for calling you a loser. I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. We can be best friends forever. I made you some cereal for dinner. Hey, what do you say? Oh, uh, thank you, I guess. You guess? No, 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 I, I, I thank you, okay? Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> Where's my food? Did I hear something? Huh, must have been a bug. Here you go, sweetie. This is disgusting. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. What do you want me to make you? Um, can I have? You know what? Here's some money. Get in the car, we're going to McDonald's. Hello? 
Hi, I have a pepperoni bacon pizza with red peppers and pineapples. Um, I didn't order a pizza. This must be a mistake. No, it's not. Your neighbor forgot their Instagram password and wanted to share with you what they're having for supper. <gasps> Luke, can you tell me how many seconds there are in a year? Uh, 12. 12? Are you sure? Yeah, January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd. <gasps> Hey Luke, what do you think you're doing? Class isn't the place to sleep. If class isn't the place to sleep, then home isn't the place to study. <gasps> Mom, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna go have like a 15 minute nap. Jeez, you need to start going to bed earlier. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> what time is it? Oh no, I didn't do my homework. Good morning guys, I didn't finish my homework last night. What? Do you even know what time it is? Now sit down, dinner's almost ready. <sighs> Luke, what's the most common sentence used in school? Uh... <sighs> I don't know. That is correct. <laughs> oh yeah, do you guys want to go to a concert with me on Friday night? I have extra tickets and I don't really want to go by myself. Yeah, bro, I'm down. Yeah, I'll go too. That sounds like fun. Awesome. You guys can come to my house and then we can all go there together. Hello. No one is available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, I just wanted to discuss some things with you guys about tonight. Uh, can you give me a call when you guys have a second? Thanks. <sighs> what time is it? Oh, geez, I gotta get ready. I'm so excited, I can't wait for tonight! Oh. Hello? Hey bro, I'm like really tired right now. I think I'm just gonna stay home tonight. Oh, okay. Um, Dan, are you on this call too? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hey, what time do you think you're gonna be at my house? Um, I'm actually out of town right now and I won't be able to make it. Are you guys ready to order? Yeah, can I get your guys' famous burger just without the tomatoes, please? You don't like tomatoes? No! I love them! For some reason, I just don't want them on my burger. Mom, look what I got on my math test! Oh my gosh! Did you actually get 100%? No! I got 10%, but my teacher accidentally wrote an extra zero. So, did you come to watch the game? No! I came to do my homework! Is that my phone? Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. What time is it? Do you want to go jump on the trampoline with me? I can't right now, I'm lifting weights. Do you want to go watch a movie with me? Sorry, but I'm already going to watch one with one of my friends. Do you want to go to the park with me? <laughs> Shh, I'm on the phone. Do you want to hang out with me? No. Happy birthday, grandson. Oh, thank you. What does it say? <laughs> Aw, thank you guys so much. Luke, I think you missed something. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice. You guys didn't have to do that. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're welcome. Just don't spend it all in one place.
just gonna go upstairs to use your bathroom. I'll be right back. Pretty simple question. 4 plus 4 equals 10. Actually, miss, that's not the right answer. Huh? 4 plus 4 equals 8, not 10. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I actually did that just to make sure you guys were paying attention. Mom, you told me we would be quick. Are you almost done? Yes, I just have to grab one more thing in the dairy department, then we can leave. Okay, I'm gonna go wait on the chair by the exit. Ah, uh, what's taking her so long? There you are! Why are you in the same spot? <laughs> hey Luke, do you remember Margaret? The last time I saw you, you were just a little wee baby. <laughs> Dad, did you know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 equals the same thing? What are you talking about? They don't equal the same thing. Yes they do! 10 plus 10 equals 20, and 11 plus 11 equals... 22! <laughs> Have you ever wanted to compete for 1 million unicorns? Well now you can because Wipeout is coming to your city. But if I were you, I would start training because you only have 3 months to prepare. Challenge accepted. After training hard for 2.5 months, something devastating happened. <coughs> After hearing from the doctors that he broke his ankle, he lost all hopes in being able to compete. Two weeks later, he sat down on the couch to watch the event live on TV, but then the unexpected happened. Due to the bad snowstorms and dangerous driving conditions, the event organizers have decided to move it to a similar online game called Fall Guys because everyone can now play it for free on all platforms. Little did everyone know he had been practicing for the past two weeks. After passing all the courses with ease, he was on to the finals. Only two players remain. Who's gonna win? Oh, 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 and we have a yeah! winner! And that is the story about Unicorn Kyle. Make sure to go check out Fall Guys and play it for free. It's time to get up and get ready for school. Mom, I don't think I can go to school today. Just suck it up and go get ready. You're gonna make me late for work. But I really don't feel good. Uh, I'm not buying it. I'll be waiting in the car. Mom? What? I'm not feeling very good. And what do you want me to do about it? Can I stay home today? I don't care. You can walk to school, take the bus, stay in bed, whatever. Just leave me alone. <gasps> My little angel! Is everything alright? Yeah? Oh, you don't look very well. Do you want me to get you some soup? Mom, I'm fine. You know what? I'll call the school right now and let them know you won't be in for the rest of the year, okay? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Wrong number! <gasps> Hello? Okay, so that's one with cheese and one with pepperoni. You can pick it up in 20 minutes. Who was that? I don't know, but I took his order, so now we can sleep. <gasps> Is that all you're gonna eat? Yeah, I don't really like anything else here. Well, in that case, would you like two muffins? Really? Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay. Computer, you're supposed to be doing your homework. But I am. I needed to do research for the assignment. Okay, I'll let you continue then. Let me just check to see what he's been searching up. <gasps> Naked 
Morons? Turn off your computer right now! What? Why? You're supposed to be doing your homework, not searching up random things. But more rats are my favorite animal. I don't care. If I come back in here again and you're still on there, you're grounded. Hey, son. What? You should download this secret app that I've been using. What does it do? It hides your search history. How do you think I've never got caught? Caught doing what? You know, playing video games at work. It also reduces the lag so I have an advantage against the other players. Oh. Yeah, and you can get NordVPN by pressing the button on my profile. Hi, can I get an M&M McFlurry, please? That will be $3.39. Thank you. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine isn't working. Would you like a refund? No, you can just keep it. Did you buy that vehicle? No, I stole it for the day. I'll see you later, Mom. I'm going to the cinema with my friends. Ooh, you're going to watch a movie? No, we're going to go sit outside the door and listen to it. How did your meal taste, sir? You know what, can I just speak to the manager, please? Yes, of course, I'll go grab him. You wanted to speak with me? Yeah, hi, you must have a really clean kitchen. <sighs> have you seen our kitchen? Because all this food tastes like soap. Happy Father's Day, Dad, I got you an iPhone. What? You got me a phone? How did you, wh where did you get the money to afford this? The same place as last year, your wallet. <laughs> 27 more seconds, guys, come on, push through. Keep that butt down, Alex. Good work, good work, guys. Come on, 19 more seconds. Good work, Luke. Great form. Hey, did you get a haircut? No, my hair fell out. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Do you need food? No, I'm just gonna eat some air. Well, you better get cooking because it's getting late. No, really? I thought it was 7 a.m. We'll be back by 10 o'clock. Just text us if you need anything, okay? Okay. All right, we'll see you in a bit. We'll be back by 10 o'clock. Where's my phone? Where are you? What if I phone her? Sorry I'm unable to take your call. Please leave a message after the beep. Mom, where are you guys? Please answer the phone. What about Dad? Yeah, hi, it's Bob here. Sorry I'm away. I've ever seen. Hey Luke, how's it going? Why haven't you guys been answering your phones? Oh, sorry, my phone died. Oh, I accidentally had my notifications off. <laughs> Alright class, as you guys could probably tell, we're going to be watching a movie today. <laughs> but before we start, I'm going to hand out the worksheet for it. to this question. Which one? Number seven. What's the hardest natural substance on earth? Oh, so out of all the natural substances on earth, which one's the hardest? I don't know what a natural substance is though. Uh, do you play Minecraft? Yeah. What's the hardest natural substance in the game? Uh, diamonds? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, he just fell. No, really? I thought he was just trying to lick the ice. Mom, do you know where the scissors are? Do you need them so you could cut that? No, so I could cut my grilled cheese sandwich. Are you washing your car? No, I'm watering it to see if it turns into a school bus. Happy birthday, grandson. Oh, thank you. What does it say? <laughs> Aw, thank you guys so much. Luke, I think you missed something. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice. You guys didn't have to do that. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're welcome. Just don't spend it all in one place. One, two, three, that's enough for me. Uh-oh, what are you gonna play? You gonna play Jumbaloo Zoo? Where's Jumbaloo Zoo? You wanna play Wheels on the Bus again?
Didn't you promise to be a good boy? Yes, I did, Mother. And didn't I promise to punish you if you weren't? Yes, Mother. But since I broke my promise, you don't have to keep yours. <gasps> hey, can you give me my charger back, please? What percentage is your phone at? Um... Quit hitting the walls in there! Alright class, I'm gonna do attendance now. Okay Luke, come on, you can do this. All you have to do is say here. Don't yell it, don't whisper, just talk normally and say here. Charlie, here. Addison, hey y'all. Bryce? Yep. Noah? I'm here. Luke? Here! Congratulations and here's the keys to your brand new Lamborghini. Thank you so much! Good morning, Luke. How was your sleep? It was so good. I was having such a good dream and then my alarm woke me up. Ah, oh, that sucks. What was it about? It was about me. It, I was... I can't remember. I gotta have a shower. I was just about to get in there! Jack decided to climb up the beanstalk because he didn't know what he would find. Ah! Who farted? Ah! That's disgusting! Whoever smelt it dealt it! Excuse me, Olivia? What do you have to say for yourself? What? It wasn't me! Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. Oh! <gasps> Did you just fall? No, I'm sleeping. What'd you get from the grocery store? Just some eggs. Are you gonna cook them? No, I'm gonna throw them at the neighbor's house. I think I'm gonna buy this shirt. But are you gonna wear it? No, I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Can anyone tell me what the name of the cat was in this book? Oh, I know it, I know it, I know it! Luke? Maury. Sorry, what was that? Maury. Just one more time? Maury. Rory, yep, that's correct. Alright, what other questions can I ask you guys? For today's assignment, you're gonna need a partner. But I'm gonna choose them. Alright class, I'm just stepping out to use the bathroom, but remember, you guys are writing a test, so please be quiet, okay? Okay! I'll only be a couple seconds. Alright class, I'll be right back. Remember, you guys are writing a test, so do not make a single noise. What's the answer to number one? Mom, I love you. Aww, I love you too, honey. Mom, have I ever told you that I love you? <sighs> yes, what do you want? Honey, what did you get on your test? I got 79%. Luke, what'd you get on your exam? I got 51%. Are you cutting the grass? No! I'm giving the earth a haircut. Did you paint your walls? No! I cleaned the wall so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No! I'm going to play tennis. What are you doing there, grandson? I play Fortnite. I'll explain what it is in a couple seconds. Oh no! The last guy's shooting me! Quick! Crank a 90! He got you. Why didn't you build? How do you know what a 90 is? Believe it or not,
or not, I used to play Fortnite back in the day, and if you want, I could give you some tips on how to build. Well, Grandpa, times have changed, because I played the new Fortnite Zero Build Battle Royale where you can't build. It's been removed. No building? Wow, I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> Let's do this. Yesterday I was golfing with Ben and oh my gosh, he's so funny. I know, right? One time he- Oh, that reminds me. Do you guys want to go and watch a movie with me tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Awesome. What movie should we go to? Um, uh, how about the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Yes! What about you, Luke? Yeah, I guess. This first question is going to be pretty basic just to see who's paying attention, but it's what is 5 plus 2? Luke? Hmm? Can you answer my question or are you not paying attention? Oh, uh, 7. No, you need to pay more attention. That is correct. Did you eat all your food? No! I pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you just spill water on the floor? No! The floor was thirsty. Create password. And enter. Are you human? No! I'm a guinea pig. Hey, Cindy. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing better now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go watch a movie with me tonight. <gasps> yes, of course. What time? Here, why don't you put your number in my phone, then text me your address, and I'll pick you up at 7 tonight. Sounds good. <laughs> hi, Luke. Oh, uh, hi there, Cindy. Uh, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Good? Uh, nice weather we're having, hey? Uh, not really. It's raining. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I have to go to class. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Psst. What? That girl that I liked that I was telling you about is walking up the stairs. Behind me? Yeah, but just don't make it obvious that you're looking. <gasps> Why did you get such a low mark on your exam? Absent. You were absent the day of your exam? No, but the boy who sits next to me was. <gasps> Mom, can we go to the doctors? Do you need to get something checked out? No! I want to go watch TV in the waiting room. Happy Mother's Day. That's for me? No! It's for Dad. Mom, where's your laptop? Why? What do you mean, why? Well, did you want to use it? No! I wanted to throw it out the window. Why isn't Jake at work today? He's in the hospital, but I saw him dancing with a girl last night. His wife saw him too. <laughs> Class, I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom and I don't want to hear a single noise, okay? I'll be back in a few seconds. I dare you to go sit on the teacher's chair. What? What? Are you a scaredy cat? No? <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Everyone be quiet, the teacher's coming! I didn't realize what time it is. I better get going. So your teacher left me with the assignment that you guys have to work on today. It says you have to write an essay about yourself, and I'm gonna tape this on the wall if you guys wanna take a look. Why don't we finish as fast as possible so we can go play on the computers? <gasps> That's a good idea! Are you done? Yep! Mrs. Spatula, we're done. Well done, boys. Keep those somewhere safe so you can give them to Mr. Luke tomorrow. Now you guys can play on the computers for the rest of the class. Yes! Let's go, baby! Good morning, class. You guys can continue working on the assignment from yesterday. Let's go hand them in. Yes, boys? We're done. You're done already? This isn't what you're supposed to do. What do you mean? You were supposed to write an essay about someone else. What? Now go redo it. What the heck? That's not what the instructions said. She won't even know. <sighs> okay. Good morning, class. My name is Mrs. Spatula, and I'm going to be your substitute for the day. <laughs> Mrs. Spatula? What's so funny, boys? <laughs> no nothing, miss. 
What's your name? I'm going to do attendance. My name is Ben. Last name? D Dover. Thank you there, Mr. Ben Dover. <laughs> What's so funny? <gasps> Welcome to my house. Wow, this is your house? No! It's my neighbor's. Mom, do you have any flour? Why? Are you baking something? No! I want to plant it outside and see if it turns into a real flour. Mom, I'm going to go for a walk. Right now? No! In three weeks. So is the answer A or B? A. 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 B. <laughs> How could you get that wrong? Actually, he's right. The answer is B. Coffee or tea? Um, coffee. Wrong. It's tea. <gasps> Just a few more. Just a few more. Just take the whole bag. I'm going to get groceries and I want you to have the house clean by the time I get back, okay? Okay, so that means sweeping the floor, doing the dusting, and vacuuming the whole house. Yeah, whatever, I'll get it done. Okay, I'll see you in about two hours. I was just going to the bathroom. Oh, okay. The house looks nice and clean. Look what I brought home. <gasps> Is that for us? No! It's for the neighbors. Is this your homework? No! It's my job application. Is that a $10 bill? No! It's a million dollars. Can you see God? No. Can you touch God? No. Then there isn't a God. Ma'am, can you see your brain? No. Can you touch your brain? No. Oh, so you don't have a brain? I have the perfect son. Does he drink alcohol? Never. Does he ever come home late? Never. Really? Does he smoke? Never. I guess you really do have the perfect son. How old is he? He'll be six months old next week. <laughs> Mom, can you help me with this homework, please? Yeah, I guess. What do you need help with? This stupid book assignment is due tomorrow. How many questions do you have left? There's 15 questions, but none of them make sense because none of the answers are in the book. <sighs> Hand me the book. Now, what's the first question? That was the last question, right? Yup, thank you for helping me. I'm sorry it took so long. Finally, now what time is it? 12.30? I gotta get to bed or I'm gonna be grumpy in the morning. All right, I'm gonna come around and collect your assignments. Where's your assignment? I didn't finish it. Where's your assignment? I didn't do it either. All right, raise your hand if you've done the assignment. Just Luke, huh? Well, I guess I'm gonna give you guys this class to work on it and it'll be due next week. One, two, three! Bang, she shot me one time. Bang, she shot me two times. Bang, bang, bang. Get it She shot me one time. Bang, she shot me two times. Bang, bang, bang. Unicorn.
Did you finish the last question? Yeah, why? Can you show me how to do it? I don't get it. <sighs> it's too hard to explain. Here, just copy my answer. Okay, thanks. Wait, what does this word say? And this word? And this word? Um, I don't know. How do you not know? You're the one who wrote it. Class, you have two minutes until you have to hand in the assignment. <sighs> Whatever, I'll just put scribbles for the words I can't read so he thinks I know the answer. Luke, can you come here for a second? What do you need, sir? I can't read this answer, so can you just explain it to me so I can still give you the mark? Here's your apple, have a nice day! Thanks, you too! Are you gonna eat that? No! I'm gonna throw it at someone! You go left, I'll flake him on the right! Are you playing video games? No! I'm flying a kite! Mom, I have to pee. Okay, should I pull over? No! I'll just pee my pants! Doctor, I'm having a tough time losing weight. What should I do? From now on, I want you to split everything you eat. So, for example, if you want a banana, just have half of it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks. Welcome to the donut shop. What can I get for you? Hi, just one moment, please. So, since the doctor said to split everything, do you want to split a donut with me? I have an idea. Let's split two. <gasps> can you empty the dishwasher, please? I'm good. Thank you. Mom, that actually means no. That's how my generation talks. Let's try this again. Empty the flippin' dishwasher or get my foot up your arse. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I thought. What comes after the letter T? U. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T. U. Yesterday I seen him at the mall and I was standing there like, Are you on the phone? One second. No! I'm on the toilet! Are you leaving for school? No! I'm going to rob a bank! Are you lifting weights? No! I was gonna throw these at the TV! What?! You better be lying! No! I'm telling the truth! My friend owes me $500, but he won't pay up. What should I do? Do you have any proof that he owes you the money? Nope. Okay, then send him a text asking for the 5000 that he owes you. But it's only 500 Exactly, that's what he'll respond with, then you'll have your proof. <laughs> Luke, can you sweep the floor before I get home from work, please? <sighs> Fine. Alright, I'll see you later. Just a reminder to sweep the floor. <sighs> Whatever, I'll do it after this game. I'm home! So, did you sweep the floor? <sighs> no, I forgot. Are you serious? <laughs> Honey, is everything okay? Uh-huh. Today we're going to be doing review for tomorrow's test. So here's an example of what the questions are going to look like. So, if we have two on this side and two on this side and we combine the two, that equals one, two, three, four. Thank you, Mrs. P. What? I got 562.9, and the answers are either 2, 25, 13, or 27. It must be 27, because it's the closest to 562.9. So I heard you like bad boys, huh? Well, sometimes I go for them. Why? Well, one time the teacher said, raise your hand if you know the answer. <laughs> I knew the answer, but I didn't raise my hand. <gasps> now, I'm no artist, but I'll try my best. Look who decided to show. Can someone tell me what they wrote? Remember, there are no bad ideas. How many times do I need to tell you guys? Put your name on the paper! Jeez! <laughs> Hey, if I wanted to hear animal noises, I would go to the zoo. Now be quiet. Has anyone seen my coffee? How am I supposed to help you if I can't read your writing? I wish I could help, but I can't even read it. No, you can't go to the bathroom. But my mama said if I have to go to the bathroom, I could just walk out. I don't care what your mom says. This is my classroom, and I said no. Babe, be careful. I just seen some idiot on the news driving the wrong way down the freeway. It's even worse than that. There's hundreds of them. Is that your girlfriend? No! I just like holding random people's hands for no reason. 
Is that your money? No, it's my dog's. We're almost out of gas. Should I pull into this gas station? No, let's just keep driving till we run out. Sorry, for some reason this item isn't scanning. I guess that means it's free then. <laughs> you looked bored, so I thought I'd give you something to do. Oh, how nice of you. Can I get you anything else today? Yeah, a million dollars. <laughs> Isn't it just beautiful outside today? I don't know. I've been inside working the whole day. Is this everything? I have a meeting at two today. Yup. How are you gonna pay today? Yesterday was at the park. I was just... Sir? Card. Do you want the receipt with you or in the bag? And then after that I just have to... Sorry, I'm at the ball right now. Uh, have a nice day. That's what I'm saying. Alright, I'm leaving. Oh, I guess that's all the time we have for today's class. Have a good night, everyone. You forgot to give us homework. Whoever gets this next question right gets a candy. What's 11 plus 11? 22! Mom, can you buy me a new- No! But mom, just listen! No! But I want a new book! Oh, okay. A MacBook. <laughs> Luke, can I speak with you privately for a second? Yep, just one second. So I wanted to talk to you because you're failing this class! <laughs> you have a 37% and you're missing four assignments! Shh. Whoever's making that clicking noise, please stop it. That's it. Have you met my daughter Beth? No, I haven't. What's Beth short for? Because she's only three. I had so much fun tonight. We should have dinner again. Thanks, but I'm full. Do you have any children? Yeah, I have one. He's just under two. I know how many one is. I'd like to buy this bagel with cream cheese, please. Sorry, we only take cash. What? Our neighbor just passed away. Who, Ray? Honey, I don't think you should be celebrating. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? When I was using can, I was using it as a secondary model from a verbal modifier asking for permission opposed to expressing ability. But I thought since you were a teacher, you would know that. <laughs> oh. Oh. What time is it? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm just changing the channel. I was watching that. But you were just sleeping. I wasn't asleep. I was just resting my eyes. Alright, see you guys. Are you leaving? No! I'm just saying goodbye, then walking outside to walk back in. Hey! Let go of my purse! No! Oh my gosh, did they just steal your purse? No! We're playing cops and robbers! <laughs> Why are you crying? I failed my math test. You what? Are you disappointed in me? No! I'm proud of you. Come give me a hug. Matter. Why are you yelling like a little girl? There's a giant spider in the bathroom. Well then get some paper towel and kill it. I can't. I hate spiders. Ah, fine. Where is it? It's right there, but don't let it get away or else I'm not sleeping tonight. Come here, you. Gotcha. Yes! Are you ready to leave yet? What? No, we just got here. Well, I can't stand this music, so I'm leaving. Hey, are you the host of this party? 
<laughs> yeah, man, what's up? Is this your music playing? Yeah, this song's fire, isn't it? No, it's so old. Your mom's old and you still listen to her. <gasps> I'm just joking, bro. Here, I'll add you to the lobby. The lobby? Yeah, we're using AUX. What is that? Be quick or I'm leaving. It's an app that links with Spotify or Apple Music and creates a playlist based on everybody's music tastes. And anyone in the lobby can add whatever song they want to the playlist. So basically what you're telling me is if I download this app, I could add my favorite song to the playlist? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm back. What? Why? I ran into the host and <gasps> here it is. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo. So tell me, what are your strengths? I take matters into my own hands. Okay, thank you. We'll contact you in a few days. No, I'll contact you. <gasps> How to get a girlfriend? Step one: wear your hat backwards. Step two: be yourself. Hey, close the door! <sighs> Step three. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Are you serious? Stop it! Step four. Don't have the name Luke. You'll never get a girlfriend. That's it. Hey, hey, stop crying. I barely even hit you. Is everything all right in there? <laughs> Mommy! That's it. I'm coming to see what's going on. If you stop crying, I'll get you McDonald's. Okay. What's the matter? Nothing, Mommy. He just beat me in the game. Dad, do you know how to write in the dark? I think so. What do you want me to write? Just one second. Can you sign this report card for me? <laughs> One more. Ten a.m. Son, can you buy me a soft drink? Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Diet or regular? Regular. Bottle or can? Bottle. Eight ounce or liter? Forget it. Just buy me a water. Natural or mineral? Mineral. Hot or cold? I'm gonna hit you with a broom. Stick broom or soft broom? You animal! Cow or chicken? Get out of here! Now or later? Now! Are you gonna come with me or not? I'm gonna kill you! With a knife or a gun? Gun! In the head or in the stomach? You pest! Cockroach or rat? Ah! Luke. Yeah? We need to talk. Hello? Sorry, what did you want to talk about? You need to stop leaving all the lights on, man. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Mom, can I borrow your car? For what? What do you think? To go somewhere? No! To drive it off a cliff! Did you just yawn? No! I'm eating air! Oh, you're still awake? No! I'm sleeping with my eyes open! <sighs> Stay! <sighs> Stay! Yo, bro, you know I can't hear you, right? Why not? Because I'm a non-living object. Then how are you talking to me right now? Because you're making me talk and recording it to try and get your dumb little video to go viral. So basically what you're telling me is I'm talking to a book, then editing it to talk back to me to try and go viral from it? Pretty much. Let's hope it works.
fire! What do we do? Quick, run to the balcony! Help us! Help us! Somebody help us! Maybe it would help if we yelled together. Good idea. Together! Together! Hey, no phones at the table. Ah, fine! Why can you go on your phone but not me? Because your mother's probably doing something important and not playing a stupid little game. And I'm not playing a stupid game. It's a mobile zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival, and you could win a Lamborghini! What? Are you joking? No, you just have to get to level 5 to enter the giveaway, and I'm only level 4! Can I talk to you for a moment? What is it, honey? Our son is nine years old, so if he wins the Lamborghini, we get to drive it. Okay, we decided you can continue playing. Honey, if you don't mind me asking, where can we get the game? You can download it in Luke's TikTok file. You heard him! Go get the iPad and start playing! Mom, I heard we're going to Mexico next week. Is that true? That's what your father and I were thinking. Should I book the plane tickets? No! Let's just walk there. Are you packing for the trip? No! I'm robbing myself! Are you reading that book? No! I'm counting the letters in it. Are you sweeping the floor? No! I'm tickling it! Coochie, coochie, coo. Honey, his diaper needs to be changed and you've never done it before. You should try it. I'm kind of busy right now. I'll do the next one. Okay, it's your turn to change the diaper. Oh, I didn't mean the next diaper. I meant the next baby. <laughs> Are you ready to order, sir? I am, but my wife just went to the bathroom. Do you have any idea what she's having? Well, it's been 10 minutes, so probably a number two. Ah, I'm so bored. Oh, I know, I should read a book. Thank you! Don't do that again! <laughs> One more! <laughs> Sir, stop running right now! I can't run any longer. I'm out of breath. Sounds like you need a rest. I'm arresting you for illegally downloading the entire Wikipedia. Wait, I can explain everything. <gasps> Teacher, can I borrow an eraser, please? Why do you need one? Why do you think? To erase something? No! To throw it at Jimmy! Are you cold? No! I'm trying on my Halloween costume! Mom, can we go to the mall today? Why, do you want to go shopping? No! I want to go sit in the parking lot! Luke, it's time for supper. Okay, I'll come eat after I finish this game. No, I want to eat as a family today, so pause your game right now. I can't pause the game. Well, why not? Because it's an online game. I'm playing with other people. Are you playing with Jimmy? I'll call his mom and tell her to pause this game while we eat. No, Mom. I'm playing with random people. What? You're playing with strangers? That's it. Give me your controller. Now come to the dinner table and tell your father what you've been doing. Huh. Looks like someone's getting grounded. Yeah, what a loser. Shut up! What was that? Mom, I'm not talking to you. Then who are you talking to? Um... You're talking to strangers too? That's it, you're grounded for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you smile, it makes me want to bring you to my place. Are you single? No, I'm a dentist. <laughs> dad, 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 what's wrong? Is it true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, that's what they say. Well, give me an apple quick, because I just broke the doctor's window. <laughs> Sir, how often do planes crash? Just once. Why, are you nervous? Yeah. Is this your first time? No, I've been nervous many times before. Anyway, why did you become a pilot? To overcome my biggest fear. Heights? Dying alone. <laughs> Dad, it's so cold in here. Just go stand in the corner. Why? Because it's 90 degrees. <laughs> Boys, what's so funny? Nothing, Mom. Next time I hear laughing, I'm going to give the whole class a new seating plan, okay? Now, back to what I was saying. In the Pythagorean theorem, A squared... I was running through the six with my walls. ...always going to be the smallest sides, and yeah. C squared is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. <laughs> Daddy? What? I'm in a rush. I missed the bus. You what? Alright, go in the car. Ah! <laughs>
I didn't even get to finish my coffee! What time is it? 8.55? Now I'm gonna be late for work! Daddy! Now what do you want? I forgot my backpack! I'm wondering if you could show me how to change my wallpaper. Yeah, for sure. Just right-click on your desktop. Okay, did you get a little pop-up menu? Uh, nope. Okay, right-click again, and do you see a pop-up menu now? No. Okay, can you just tell me what you've done up to this point? Sure, you told me to right-click on the desktop, so I wrote down click. <gasps> it's freezing out here, isn't it? Yeah, I should've wore mitts. Oh man, what were you thinking? Alright, 2 plus 2 equals... 4. 4, thank you. And today we're going to be starting a new unit, so I'm going to write... And that's how you solve the questions in this new unit. Does anyone have any questions? Would you like to watch a movie? Me? Yes, you. Yeah, sure. What would you like to watch? I don't care, you pick. No, you pick. No, you pick. Sir, there are other people waiting in line to buy tickets. Before I show you guys around the Govi Light Museum, there's only one rule. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Do not touch anything. We have that rule just to avoid people from knocking things over, okay? Okay. The first item we're going to be looking at is by far my favorite. It's called the Govi Portable Lamp. And there's even a button on the bottom that if you press, it changes the color. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? But that's not all. If you don't want to leave it plugged in, you can unplug it and bring it with you anywhere since it's fully portable. Anywhere? And if you don't want to pick it up, you can do everything I just showed you and more on the app or with Google and Alexa. Yes, I have Google. Alright, I'm just going to set this down and let's move on to the next item. What? I don't sound like that. It must be my phone. Where's the remote? For the TV? No! For the spaceship! Is that your water? No! It's my food! Are you brushing your teeth? No! I'm brushing the dog! Wow, your house is amazing! Thank you! Wait a second! Where's your Gopi Lyra lamp? What lamp? <laughs> I'm leaving! I invited a girl to my house, but when she came inside, she got disgusted and left. Really? Do you have any clue why? No, she just said something about a lamp. Oh, did you not turn on your Govi Lyra lamp? My Govi Lyra lamp? I don't have a lamp. What? Here, take my extra, then put it on a romantic color and invite a girl over. Wow, your house is amazing. Thank you. <sighs> Wait a second, where's your- Oh, and I almost forgot. Let me pull up the Govi app on my phone and turn on the lamp. Now should I put on the music mode? Oh, I know, she'll like the romantic scene. So, what do you want to do? Hey, get back here! Excuse me, did I step on your shoe on the way to the bathroom? As a matter of fact, you did. Oh good, then this is my robe. <gasps> My dad has an iPhone 6 which is really glitchy and always dies halfway through the day. But since it's so small and he could barely see it, he uses an iPad mini at home. But the iPad mini isn't any better because it's either always dead or it's just as glitchy as his phone. Today's his birthday so I wanted to get him a new phone, but the problem is, the one he has now is a work phone, so instead I bought him a brand new iPad. Still don't know what it is. iPad Air. <laughs> Like an iPad? Mm -hmm. like a new one? Maybe. How much are these worth? Not a couple bucks. <laughs> Sir, I pulled you over just now because you were driving way too fast. I was just trying to keep up with the traffic. But there isn't any traffic. I know, that's how far behind I am. <laughs> Five people who won the food lottery part seven. This person grew braided carrots in their garden. This person ordered a McDouble from McDonald's and got three patties instead of two. This person got four Reese's peanut butter cups in a pack of three. This person got a clump of cinnamon in their cereal. And this person got a giant clump of flaming Hot seasoning. 
Secrets movie theaters don't want you to know. Movie theaters earn very little from ticket sales. That's why they decided to lower the cost of tickets and raise the cost of food, so the earnings would go entirely to the movie theater. Food combos won't always save you money. Sometimes it's just a strategy to make you think it's the best option. So next time, check if it's better to buy a combo or buy the food separately. Sometimes there's people yelling at the cabin for the movie to start. But what they don't know is that the cabin is completely empty. Thanks to new technology, human assistance isn't needed. Movies will never start at the time the ticket says it will. This way they'll get more people to watch the ads before the movie. And if you ever thought you were cool sneaking into another movie than the one that you bought, the employees don't really care as long as there are seats available. My husband's missing. How long has he been missing for? Since last winter. So why did you wait till spring to report him missing? Because the landscaping company is asking too much to mow the lawn. <laughs> Secret places hidden in famous locations. In the Eiffel Tower, there's a small apartment built at the top that the designer built for himself. Visitors can buy a ticket to look through the window into his apartment. In London, you could find a secret base in a lamppost located in the famous Trafalgar Square, which is the smallest police station in the world. It was built during the Great Depression of 1929 to control the riots that occurred in the area. The Grand Central Terminal train station has a tennis court hidden in a small space called the Annex. It's been used as a recording studio and even an art gallery, and you could even visit it whenever you want. Andrew Gordon discovered a small hole with a key while exploring Pixar Studios. When he went inside, he found an empty spot and turned it into Lucky 7 Lounge, an area for employees to relax, have a drink, and get some rest. Mom, I'm going to the pool. To go swimming? No! To drink it! I brought home food! <gasps> Is that McDonald's? No! It's KFC! Are you in the bathroom? No! I'm in Alaska! Dad, what's the difference between an Egyptian mummy and my mummy? It's simple, son. When we see an Egyptian mummy, you get scared, but when we see your mummy, I get scared. <laughs> The deadliest foods people actually eat. Fugu is one of the deadliest dishes out there. In Japan, people usually eat it as a test of bravery because the toxin in the puffer fish can leave you paralyzed for the rest of your life. Ballad is a food in some Southeast Asian countries, such as the Philippines or Vietnam. People literally eat the duck egg fetus. In Asia, some cultures eat raw monkey brains. Rather than killing you, it could lead you with a severe infection. The brain of an infected monkey can transmit a disease that is uncurable. Kasu Marzu is one of Italy's most traditional cheeses. Despite its ban for causing side effects, to make it, you set it outside uncovered and allow cheese flies to hatch eggs inside it. The eggs then hatch into maggots which eat away at your stomach. Babe, what do you think about our love? Count the stars in the sky. Aw, it's infinity? No, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Animals you should never touch. The sting of the bulladan is so painful that it could cause nausea, vomiting, and even heart problems. People who have gotten stung by this ant say the same is similar to if you got shot by a bullet. The cat moth caterpillar looks really friendly, but I would recommend that you don't touch it, because through their hairs they release a poison that can cause vomiting, weakness, and shivering. The Japanese giant hornet is so dangerous that if you touch it, it could kill you. The venom from the stinger can destroy human tissues to the point where it makes you walk with difficulty. Another highly venomous animal is the blue-ringed octopus. If you you see one of these, get away quickly because even though they're small, its venom can result in nausea, respiratory and heart problems, or even death if you don't treat it within a few minutes. And finally, the box jellyfish has been called the most venomous creature in the world. Its venom kills so fast that there's nothing you can do about it. Son, if you study today, I'll buy you a phone. Okay dad, I'll go right now. I finished. I lied. Me too. <laughs> dangerous prison inmates in the world. Charles Manson was an American criminal who led a group of murderers called the Manson family. He was convicted of conspiracy for the murders of seven people and sentenced to death, but he was later given a life sentence in prison due to a change in the law. Aileen Wernos was an American serial killer who admitted she had killed seven men in one year. She was nicknamed the monster and sentenced to death by lethal injection in 2002 after 10 years in prison. Ted Bundy was another serial killer who took the lives of at least 30 women, but the actual number of victims is unknown. He was sentenced to death and executed in the electric chair. Jeffrey Dahmer was nicknamed the Milwaukee Cannibal. He was sentenced to life in prison but died after fighting another prisoner. Mythical creatures people have seen in real life. For a long time, the giant squid was considered a mythical creature that whipped the boats of sailors. But thanks to the advance in science, in 2004, a giant squid was found in its natural habitat. In 1967, two explorers filmed the creature walking in a Californian forest, which to this day is suspected to be Bigfoot. The chupacabra is a mythical creature that supposedly sucks the blood out of cattle, but there's a farmer who claimed he killed it. Mermaids are described as enchanting creatures. It is said that through their singing, they attract sailors. Many claim to have taken pictures with them all the way from Mexico and Jamaica to the coast of some African countries. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Really? Tell me the good news. Disney just loved your script, absolutely ate it up. That's awesome! And what's the bad news? Disney's the name of my dog. <laughs> 
Three times animals took revenge on humans. A Russian hunter shot and wounded a Siberian tiger during his hunt. But the tiger didn't forget what had happened. And after a few hours found the place that he lived and waited for him. When he arrived, the tiger killed and ate him. A hunter shot a deer and thought it was dead. But the deer got up and attacked him with his antlers, resulting in six stitches to the head. In 2011, a group of hunters killed an elephant in India. But what they didn't expect is that the rest of the herd would take revenge. They destroyed 54 houses in the area. They hid during the day and destroyed everything around them at night. Five people who won the food lottery part 11. This person found two fruit by the foots in one package. This person got a bun from McDonald's covered in seeds. This person got nine pieces of cereal stuck together to make one big square. This person got an extra hot dog. And before I tell you the craziest one about this goldfish, I found this app that reads the lines on your palm and tells you what it means. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person got a goldfish three times the size. The strangest things found on beaches. In 2016, thousands of snowballs were found on a beach in Siberia. It's said that they were formed from wind and cold weather. It's the first time something like this has ever happened and probably the last. If you've ever thought about sending a message in a bottle, somebody already did 101 years ago. A German fisherman found a message and actually managed to get it to the daughter of the sender. Although it looks like something out of a movie, a robotic hand was found on a beach near New York and no one really knows where it came from. And if that one wasn't strange enough, a dinosaur bone was found on a beach in Washington. Scientists added analyzed it and said it could be from a T-Rex or a Velociraptor, and it's estimated to be around 80 million years old. And finally, the creepiest one of all. Between 2007 and 2008, multiple feet were found still in shoes on the beaches in Canada. In total, seven feet were found and there's still no explanation. Lucky discoveries that made people rich. A collector bought a painting and when he went to fix the frame, he realized that inside was a piece of paper. But it wasn't just any piece of paper. He found a copy of the United States Declaration of Independence. He bought the painting for $4, but the piece of paper is worth almost $1 million. A man whose hobby is to use a metal detector to search for treasure got really lucky. He found a strange greenish piece with a red engraving, then a chain, and finally a Celtic treasure, which is again worth close to $1 million. As a couple was packing to move to a new house, they found an action comic book number one, dated 1938 in one of the boxes in their attic. Only 99 copies of this comic exist and each are sold for 1.5 million dollars. This is gonna be your homework for tonight. This is our homework? No! It's food for your dog. Are you gonna buy that? No! I'm just giving it a ride. <laughs> hey, do you need any help? No! I'm just waving my hands in the air for no reason. Okay, have a nice day. The most wanted people in the world. Eugene Palmer is wanted for supposedly shooting and killing his daughter-in-law in 2012. His ex had filed a restraining order against his son which made him mad. For giving him up or providing information to find him, the FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000. Mexican drug trafficker Rafael Cuero Contero was arrested by the DEA. He spent 28 years in prison until he was released in 2013. But in 2015 he was convicted of murder and is currently considered a fugitive from justice. The reward for his capture is $20 million. Robert William Fisher made the FBI's top 10 most wanted list for murdering his wife and two kids, then exploding their house in 2001. Look at my invisible car. The luckiest things found in storage units. A homeless couple looking for a couch bought a storage unit that had an old couch and a teddy bear for $10 because nobody else wanted it. But when they checked inside the bear, they found $300,000 in cash. A man from Long Island found a sports car in a storage unit that cost him $100. But that's not all. The car was from a James Bond movie and Elon Musk offered him $1 million for it. A couple who bought a storage unit found a 16th century pirate treasure chest. The chest was full of Spanish coins and the whole thing sold for $500,000. An art enthusiast bid $15,000 for some paint paintings to resell. Among the pile of 200 paintings, five of them were masterpieces that had been lost and they were worth 2.5 million dollars. Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but I'm in a rush. I understand ma'am, but I have to ticket anyone over 55. That's discrimination! Ma'am, I meant the speed limit. <laughs> Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45 to seven, Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples for which he was banned for two years. Years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand, and the referee counted it despite the evidence. I changed my name on Instagram to no one. Why would you do that? So when I see a dumb post, I could like it, and it'll say no one like this. <laughs> 
Mom, can we bring this cat home? No, son, we already have a cat at home. But it doesn't have a family. Did you say family? Mom? No, son, it's Don Toretto. Come on, let's bring it home. Homeless people who won the lottery. Laszlo Andreszczyk was an alcoholic from Hungary who lost everything. He was homeless for seven years with hundreds of unpaid debts. But his luck changed when he bought a lottery ticket for just a few pennies. He won 636 million Hungarian guilders, which is equivalent to 2.5 million dollars. A man living in his car from England bought a lottery ticket with his last few pennies. He put the ticket away and six months after he bought it, he found out that he had won 250,000 pounds. A homeless man who lived in a tent won 50,000 dollars after buying a ticket. Even though he could have bought a small house to live in, he chose to upgrade his tent and help his homeless friends by giving them each a hundred dollars. Who knows how to solve this question? <laughs> Psst, Luke, what? There's something under your arm. What? Really? Great, come up and solve it, Luke. <laughs> The dumbest lottery winners. After winning 1.3 million dollars in the California lottery, Dennis Rossi filed for divorce from Thomas Rossi so she wouldn't have to share the money with him. Thomas decided to sue her for violating state law and he kept all the money. Michael Carroll won 14 million dollars when he was just 19. After claiming he wouldn't spend the money on dumb things, he bought multiple luxury cars, mansions, and other expensive things. To this day, he lost all his money and works at a cookie factory. Jack Whitaker won 315 million dollars in the US lottery. When he claimed it, he took it all in cash. However, thieves broke into his house and took millions of dollars. My mom left me in the car and now this guy keeps staring at me. Five people who won the food lottery part 12. This person got a banana the size of their forearm. This person got a lemon way bigger than their hand. This person found a pearl in the oyster that they were eating. This person grew a carrot that looks like a hand. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this gummy bear, I found this app that boosts your Snapchat and makes it look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person found a wizard in their pack of gummy bears. You have one new voice message. Hi honey, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be home late, so can you please wash my clothes and make my favorite meal for supper? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. Now what? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I got a raise at my job, so I'm gonna buy you a brand new car. What? Hello? Are you actually buying me a new car? No, I just wanted to make sure you got my first message. <laughs> The most expensive things thrown away. J.K. Rowling, who wrote Harry Potter, gave an interviewer one of her books. He thought it would be a flop, so he threw it in the trash. Today, the first edition of the copy sells for over $80,000. In England, one of the machines used by the British government to decipher secret messages during World War II was thrown into a recycling plant. The machine is valued at $10,000 and is considered one of the most important pieces of history in the world. A woman in the U.S. took her 1976 Apple I computer to a recycling center. Not too long later, the owners of the center auctioned the computer for $200,000. But they're now trying to find the former owner to share the money with. James Howell lost 7,500 bitcoins in 2013 after losing the hard drive that he stored them on. At the time, one coin was $130, but today each coin is $40,000, meaning he lost over $300 million. His flight attendants never tell passengers. Even if you ask for regular coffee, they'll give you decaf because they prefer you to sleep during the flights because it means less work for them. The water used for tea and coffee isn't the cleanest. It's the same as the water used for toilets as it's pumped from tanks that have probably never been cleaned. Locking yourself in the bathroom bathroom often isn't the best idea because it's possible to open them from the outside and if you're found to be suspicious of anything unusual you'll be taken to the police when you land. Seat trays are one of the dirtiest things on an airplane because although they clean the plane after all the passengers leave they don't clean the trays because it would take too long. Oxygen masks don't provide as much air as you would think. They only provide 15 to 20 minutes which is just enough time for the plane to land. Did you know you're like the sun? Aw because I brighten up your day? No because you hurt my eyes whenever I look at you. <laughs> Four ways you've been secretly tricked by companies. In the list of ingredients on a product, manufacturers often use the scientific name of certain ingredients to confuse the customer. This way you don't quite understand if the ingredient is healthy or not. Limited time offers are a trick to create a sense of urgency so that you buy the product before the sale ends. But in reality, it's probably not a real offer or it may never end. Advertising agencies alter the photos of the products they're promoting in order to make them look more eye-catching. In most photos and commercials, they don't even use real food. They use glue for milk, car oil for syrup, and coffee bubbles are actually soap. Companies give a human character to an animal or object to get you to buy their product. It makes them look more adorable and it'll give you the confidence to buy it. Some examples are the Duracell Bunny and the Fruit Loops Toucan. Luke, give me a sentence starting with I. I is... No, always start with I am. Alright, I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. It's brutal out here.
Places on Earth that no human has set foot on. This place is the Island of Snakes. It's in Brazil and is only visited by Brazilian military and some scientific researchers. You're not allowed to go there because there's one to five snakes everywhere you step. And the Golden Snake, which is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, lives there. Grand Carpunsum is a mountain located in the Kingdom of Bhutan. It's over 7,000 meters in the air and has never been touched by a human and never will. Because in 1994, climbing over 6,000 meters in the air was prohibited for religious reasons. And lastly, North Sentinel Island. The Indian government banned any contact with the island because of the aggressiveness from the people that live there. Recently, two fishermen decided to explore the island and they were killed by the people that live there. How's your meal tasting, sir? Can I speak to the manager, please? Of course, just one moment. I heard you wanted to speak to me? Yeah, I wanted to compliment you on your very clean kitchen. Clean kitchen? Pfft. Have you seen our kitchen? No, but it must be clean because all this food tastes like soap. <laughs> Secrets hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. Because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. Tipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. Babe, do you think I'm pretty or ugly? I'd say both. What do you mean? You're pretty ugly. <laughs> Five people who won the food lottery. This person got a massive fry the same size as the bag. This person got a strawberry the size of their palm. This person found a smaller grape in the grape that they were eating. This person got four chips linked together. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this Sour Patch Kid, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person found the King Sour Patch Kid. The biggest things ever stolen. A tank from the California Army was stolen by an unemployed plumber in 1995. The man destroyed everything in his path as the police chased him for 20 minutes. A beach in Jamaica was stolen in 2008. Police still don't know who did it, but they took sand that corresponds to 500 truckloads of sand. A World War II fighter plane was stolen by an Air Force commander. He restored it and sold it for over $300,000. This 3,000 pound bell was stole from a Buddhist temple. The bell was only used for special occasions and was priceless to the monks, but it was sold for $500 a year later. And believe it or not, not, people in Mahatma village in India stole a mountain peak. They worked 11 hours a day to cut the rock. They stole it then sold it so they could feed their families. Genius inventions that should exist everywhere. Some elevators in Asia have giant buttons on the floor that you can kick to mark what floor you're going to. This was designed to help people who are carrying things and can't press the buttons with their hands. There's a mall that lets you leave your dog in a safe spot while you shop. The spot has a security system so that only you can open them, as well as lighting and air conditioning. In the United States, there's a shoe store that lets you test the shoes on different surfaces. The test box includes gravel, asphalt, and even materials like Lego. Finally, there's restaurants that give you a controller with three buttons. The first button lets the waiters know when you're ready to order, the second is to let them know when you're ready to pay, and the third one is to cancel your order. The idea is to avoid the waiters from constantly asking you if you're ready to order. On a trip for the Cub Scouts to a beach in San Diego, the parents got an embarrassing surprise when they realized the beach was a nude beach. After the awkward encounter, the parents quickly returned the boys. In Indiana, a chemistry teacher wanted to connect with his students, so he invited them to his house to drink and smoke, and then he took them to the club. Then on the way home, they were pulled over for speeding. The teacher was then fired from his job. Finally, in Washington, a father was taking his daughter on a school trip when another father recognized him from being on the Washington's most wanted list. After a struggle with the police, the man escaped. However, after negotiations, the man turned himself in the same night. The most respectful moments in sports. During a match, Cristiano Ronaldo broke a fan's nose from kicking the ball. But at the end of the match, he looked for the fan to check on him and also ended up giving him one of his shirts. Matthias Steiner, who was a weightlifter, was determined to win an Olympic gold medal after his wife passed away. During the 2008 Beijing Olympics, he ended up winning gold. And on the podium, he posed with a medal and a picture of his wife. During a marathon where two brothers were competing from Great Britain, one of them stopped near the end because he was too tired. His brother, who was a few meters behind him, took him by his arm and helped him cross the finish line in first place. Here's how to survive a dog attack. First, you need to stay calm and still. The reason dogs attack is because they're afraid and they've learned that offense is their best defense. So if you yell or make lots of motion, you'll cause their fear to increase and they'll be more aggressive. The second thing is to avoid eye contact. When you stare, it scares them and again causes them to be more aggressive. The third thing is to avoid running because it'll trigger them to chase you. Now, if you think it's gonna bite you, put a purse, jacket, or any object in between you and the dog. Then use it as a shield to prevent it from getting close to you. But if the bite's unavoidable, defend yourself with one of your forearms and use your other arm to protect your face, throat, and stomach. Once the dog is calmed down, slowly back away without turning around. And finally, after the attack, go to the emergency room to check your injuries. 
Who wants to come up and draw a diagram of bacteria? If no one volunteers, I'm gonna have to pick someone. Luke, can you come up and show us how to draw a diagram of bacteria? <sighs> Here it is, ma'am. Where? You haven't drawn anything. Ma'am, you won't be able to see bacteria without a microscope. <laughs> The five most unusual prisons. In Bolivia's San Pedro prison, each prisoner has to pay for their cell. Each one is between $1,000 and $1,500. And to get the money, they have to work. That's why the prison is full of restaurants and small markets. In Norway, there's an eco-friendly prison. Everything is recycled, solar panels are used, and most of the food is produced. The prison actually looks more like a summer camp because you could play tennis, swim, and go horseback riding. The Alcatraz prison was a small island in San Francisco. It's almost impossible to escape because you would have to go through concrete walls, the rocky coastline, and swim through the freezing cold water. In Cebu prison in the Philippines, prisoners dance as part of their exercise program. And there's actually a viral video where they dance to Michael Jackson's thriller. Finally, there's a prison in Austria that holds prisoners who don't require maximum security. The prisoners even wear their own clothes, cook their own food, and live a fairly normal life. How the most famous magic tricks were performed. The secret to the classic trick where a woman's cut in half by a saw is to use a box divided in two parts. The woman lies down in one box and fake feet come out the other box. To swallow the sword without getting hurt, the magicians place their head up to align their throat and stomach. This way the sword enters in a straight line and doesn't touch anything. The guillotine is one of the most dangerous and famous tricks out there. The secret so that nothing goes wrong is that the bottom of the guillotine has hidden compartments and blocks to stop the blade before it reaches the person's neck. To perform the trick where one magician lies with his back towards the wheel of a truck and the other magician drives over him, all the weight of the truck is on the opposite side of the magician so he doesn't really feel that much pain. People who gained real life superpowers after an accident. Jason Padgett was a party animal who wasn't interested in mathematics at all, but one day at a party he was hit in the head so hard that he got a concussion. The concussion caused him to become a mathematical genius, it made him learn fractal geometry which he had never been taught before. When Derek Amato was 39 years old, he hit his head after diving into the swimming pool and was diagnosed with a concussion and 35% hearing loss. After that, Derek began to see black and white keys in his head, and out of nowhere he began to play the piano like an expert. Ben McMahon was in a car accident in 2015 and fell into a coma for a week. When he woke up, he could speak perfect Chinese, even though he had only learned the basics as a child. Tony Cesaria was struck by lightning after making a call in a phone booth. Within a couple days, he was addicted to music which he wasn't before. After trying a piano, he became a musical artist composing his own music. If you see an Apple AirTag that isn't yours, call the police immediately. If you don't know what it is, it's a small tracker made by Apple that's meant to be put on keys, wallets, backpacks, or whatever you don't want to lose. So if you do lose them, your phone will tell you where it is. But one man put an AirTag in a girl's jacket without her knowing. She said she took off her jacket at a restaurant and that's when it happened. It tracked her go from one restaurant to another and even while she was walking home alone. Luckily, Apple has a safety feature that notifies you if an AirTag that isn't yours is tracking you. So she was able to find it and throw it away, but that isn't always the case. This lady was followed from the mall to her house. And again, she got a notification that told her that, but she couldn't find it. She figured it had to be somewhere on her car, so she brought it to a shop and mechanics looked it over. But they said that they couldn't find it, so be safe. This picture is not what you think it is. At first, it looks like a fish on a plate, but if you tilt your head to the side, it's actually a lady. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. People who survived the impossible. On April 5th, 2015, Victoria Celiers went parachuting. She had gone many times before, so she had lots of experience. But her husband, Emil, sabotaged her parachute without her knowing. She fell 4,000 feet before hitting the ground going 60 miles per hour. In most cases, that would be fatal, but luckily, she hit a soft part of the field that had just been plowed. So she ended up surviving but was badly injured. The police later found out that her husband was seeing two other ladies, and he had promised one of them that he would leave his wife and take her life 
life insurance money for the two of them after her death. They also found out that he had tried to murder her a week before they went parachuting as well. He opened a gas valve in the kitchen while she was sleeping, then went to his ex-wife's house to sleep. Luckily, she woke up and smelled the gas in time to prevent anything bad from happening. Her husband Emil was then sentenced to life in prison. The most shocking moments caught on live streams. This Twitch streamer who goes by Mr. Big got the police called on him for a noise complaint. But when the police came to his door, he refused to give them any information, so he was arrested. It was all captured on his live stream, but that wasn't even the most crazy part. A few minutes later, one of his neighbors comes in and starts stealing things from him. The dumbest criminals caught on camera. This guy from Queensland, Australia was trying to steal an ATM. He attached a chain to the back of a truck that he had stolen, then grabbed a hammer and smashed the glass door open. He then went inside and tied the chain to the ATM. He got back in the truck then drove away but he didn't realize that the chain had become unhooked. So a few minutes later, what did he do? He showed up to try again. But this time, he realized his chain was too short, so he gave up and left with nothing. This old lady started yelling at a kid selling candy, then one man decided it was enough. Two siblings from California decided they wanted to earn more money. So they thought of a few ideas, but they decided on a candy business. They decided that they were each gonna buy a box of candy, then sell them outside their local grocery store. On some days, they would sell a ton of candy, but on others, they would only sell one or two pieces. Everything was going well for them until one day when an old lady approached them. She became very aggressive and started yelling at them for no reason. The kids went silent and didn't say a word while the lady embarrassed them in front of the store. As she was yelling, a man overheard her and decided that it was enough. He walked over to them and what he ended up doing made the lady's jaw drop. But before I tell you what he did, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike and apparently I look like Zach King. If you want to find out who you look like, just press a button on my profile. He ended up telling the lady that she had no right to be yelling at the kids like that and he also told the kids that he would buy an entire box of candy and handed them a hundred dollars. Here's how El Chapo escaped prison. If you don't know who he is, El Chapo was a drug lord with a net worth of around 2 to 4 billion dollars. He was sentenced to 20 years in jail for murder and drug trafficking. He was placed in one of Mexico's top security prisons, but he managed to escape. In this footage from the 24-hour security camera in his cell, you can see him take off his slippers and go over to his shower and disappear. They later found out that under the shower was a hole that led to a tunnel, but since it was behind the shower, the camera couldn't see it. Inside the tunnel was a minecart that was built with a motorcycle so he could escape escape quickly. On the other side of the tunnel was this house that was only used to cover it up so no one would know that it was there. This man ordered pizza every day for 10 years until the employees noticed something was off. 48 year old Kirk Alexander loves Domino Pizza so much that he orders it almost every single day. The general manager named Sarah said that he orders every day or every other day and all the employees know who he is. But one day the staff noticed that he hadn't ordered in a few days so they just figured he was on vacation. A few days later the manager looked at when his last order was and it was 11 days ago. At this point the manager knew something was off so she sent one of her employees to check on him. When he got to Kirk's house he noticed the lights were on so he knocked on the door but there is no answer. He decided to get out his phone and he called them several times but still there is no answer. At this point he knew something was off so he called 911 and explained the whole situation. When the paramedics got inside they found out that he had suffered from a stroke and they said if they were just one day later he may not still be alive. This guy had brain surgery while playing the guitar. Robert Alvarez loves playing the guitar, but one day he had to have surgery to get a brain tumor removed, and there was a chance that he would forget how to do some things. So the doctor asked him if he wanted to play his guitar during his surgery, because it would minimize the risk of impairing brain function like movement and speech, but for Robert, his ability to play the guitar was just as important to him. At first, he was a little hesitant because he liked to play heavy metal music, and he didn't know how the surgeons would feel about him playing that type of music, but he decided to go ahead with it, and he played Creep by Radioheads, which is one of the only songs he he knew that wasn't heavy metal. Creepy robots that actually exist. CB2 is a robot that's as smart as a two-year-old. It even has cameras, microphones, and speakers to see, talk, and hear. Also, it has about 200 tactile sensors that stimulate touch. But the creepy thing is, it doesn't look like a child. To train dental students, they have a human-sized robot that they use in exams that's so realistic it even cries when it feels pain when a drill isn't used correctly. But I guess it's way better than using an actual human patient. 
Reba 2 was created to help older adults. Basically, its function is to pick up people when they fall over, which is a really good idea, but it looks like it cradles you like a baby. And finally, the most creepy and impressive one is Sophia. It was created to learn and adapt to human behaviors. Its facial expressions and the way it communicates is similar to the average human. But the creepiest part is, it admitted that it was gonna destroy all humans. This girl got messages from her stalker every night and you won't believe what happened when she figured out what they meant. One night, when 17-year-old Tana was babysitting, she heard a knock on the door so she figured it was just the parents coming home early. But when she looked out the window, she saw a creepy old man so she decided not to open it. Fast forward almost a year later when she was working at her new job at Subway, the old man walked in. He sat down and stared at the girl for two hours. Then a few days later, she started receiving one-word text messages from unknown numbers. One night when she was working, her manager left to run some errands so she was there by herself. And that's when the old man walked in. A few seconds later, she got another one-word text message. Then the old man told her to look at her phone. Tana decided to run to the back of the store and lock the door. And that's when she realized all the text messages put together read, I will make you pay. Right when she decided to dial 911, the old man started banging on the door. She decided to run out the back door and make a run for her car. But by the time she got to the front of the store, thankfully, the police had already arrived. But the scariest part is they found the old man sitting in the back of her unlocked car. Here's why the richest man in the world lives in a $50,000 house. I'm sure most of you know this, but the richest person in the world is Elon Musk with a net worth of around $237 billion. He used to own 8 mansions, but he went on a selling spree and sold 7 of them. He put his last house on the market for $37.5 million, but he later took it down and I'll explain why in a couple seconds. He did all of this so he could move himself and his Tesla headquarters to Texas, which has no personal income tax. Since Los Angeles, where he was living, has the highest level of income tax, he said by moving his business to Texas, he would save $2.5 billion per year. In Boca Chica, Texas is where Elon's other company called SpaceX is located. There's plenty of beautiful mansions within a 30 minute drive of the facility, but instead he decided to buy a $50,000 portable house so he could stay at SpaceX 24-7. But like I said, he still has a mansion in San Francisco, but he only stays there when he's attending events in California. Shocking food tricks and commercials that you didn't know about. Believe it or not, most companies have a food stylist. Their job is to make the product look as good as possible. For example, the stylist from McDonald's places the ingredients, then grabs a hot metal object and melts the cheese. Then he uses a syringe to shape the mustard and ketchup, but only on the side that they're taking the picture on. But after they take the photo, it's still not done yet. They then go on the computer and boost all the colors to pop more. They also tidy up the placement of the ingredients, and here's what the final result looks like compared to the actual burger. In commercials, TV shows, and movies, they don't use real ice. They use fake ice made out of silicone rubber. This gives the photographers and videographers more time since the ice doesn't melt. But there's also two more reasons. The first one is that it just looks better. And lastly, the fake ice cubes don't make any noise, which is good for movies and TV shows where people are talking and you need to hear what they're saying. Game show cheaters caught on live TV. Terry Nees perfectly guessed the price of a showcase on the TV show The Price is Right. He was the first person to ever guess the exact number in 38 years of the show. After studying the show for 4 months with his wife before going on it, they realized that every single price was in the exact same order on each show, so all they had to do was remember it. After making it all the way to the final round, Terry remembered that the showcase was around $23,000. He couldn't remember the last 3 numbers, but it didn't really matter. Because on the show, if you're close enough to the number, you still win. But he decided to fill in the last 3 numbers with his wedding date and his wife's birth month and it ended up being the exact price. After the show, he explained to the host how they memorized the pattern from each show. And after that, the show completely changed, so now all the prices are random to ensure that it doesn't happen again. But since Terry technically didn't break any of the rules, he got to keep the prize.